Oh yeah, it's just him. It's just gonna be you talking to yourself for okay, a few we'll minutes. We'll just do what we normally do when Jory's not here. Make his character have a nervous breakdown. Uh, wrong campaign. <laughs> yeah, wrong campaign. Oh, make him have a nervous breakdown. Make him have one anyway. I don't think he can. Uh, have you seen how this character works? She's a ragtag asshole who just wants to drink alcohol and steal everybody's hookers. Uh, make her have a relapse of uh, <laughs> of not having drank enough in the past couple hours. <laughs> oh, I think I yet. think she's drank enough in the last couple couple hours. Yep. Um, do I know why my character didn't help you in the other campaign? No. I gave him the flaw that he's scared of slimes and oozes. Why? Because he's stupid and he wanted to mess with wait, us. Wait, wait, so... No, no, no. I did it for the sole reason of... He was attacked by a giant swarm of them and he had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Wait, just just a quick question. You bonded to the um to the oh no, you're you're carrying I one of the stones. To stone. No, I bonded to someone. You you bo you bonded. Stone that makes it so those slimes and oozes go after me. You're a fucking idiot. Oh, that is why. <laughs> why? I tuned that if I tuned that before I got the fear of slimes. So, currently we're missing two people. Jury, which I don't think knows what's going on. But we've also yeah, gained two somehow. No one joined. Oh, hey, Zoran. Zoran. We're missing uh, Jory, who I don't know if th knows this is going down, because I don't know if he's, like, what, don't wait, think he's wait, 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 right now. G give me, give me a, give me a minute. Might... Wait, is he with you? Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't uh, know, I think he pulled a muscle or something. I was gonna call him, but I never mind then. Again. <laughs> He's just good at pulling muscles, you know? Yeah, he is. Thinking, uh, the, other person, now. the other person we're missing is the racist child. Oh. Liam's not coming. Thank God. Liam's being a retard. I'm going Oi. to do that. Oi! Yes, can't say that word. Uh, can't say that word. Can't say that word. Are you on already? Yes! I told I you that a minute ago! He is a... Artardre. <laughs> because that's so much better. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. <laughs> Pig lad for the win. Good job, you twat. Hey, <laughs> hey. Don't call me a female thing. Wow. Volvula. <laughs> <laughs> That's your new nickname now, Nick. <laughs> That's your new okay. nickname. We are still just missing someone. Yeah. Yeah. There no he is. Here. Oh, wait, man. No, in, 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 so in review. In, in the camp. Okay. Zoen yeah, review. Okay. Uh, Zoen, I want to take you over. Uh, you to take over. Uh, Jory's character, because. Well, L Liam already has to take care. Of Keegan already has to take care of Liam's character. I still have to take care uh, of it. I have to babysit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and I feel thing. like, I feel like, uh, Zoen, you might have an idea of how to pull off Jory's character. You think you can do it? Uh, drunk and horny. Got it. Good. So, well, you were just... <laughs> <in the facility. laughs> drunk and horny. Got it. <laughs> I feel like he's used to that kind of acting. No? Okay. Has Jory's character ever been actually silver in this campaign yet? So, Seba. Silver. Silver? What? What's silver? What are we talking about? Jory's character. He's usually drunk. You mean sober? You mean sober? That's what I sober. said. You were saying sober. sober. You were saying sober, mate. Sober. Has he ever been sober? Who wants to take the last name Silver? I've had the last name Silver. Mm, yeah, sure. Not, not Silver. <laughs> okay, my turn. Oh wait, no, we've already got the last character. I'm good. What was that? Anyways, that, that's what I heard originally. So. No, that, that is genuinely what he said. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, Maram Montmond has been stopped by the mask man while everybody else left to go back into the building. Mm -hmm. I believe you asked the... You asked me that you want to know how to get one of these masks. Yeah, he did. Zoe, how this is do your... I get one of those? Mask. 
I am a part of a organization known as Inferus. We are a, a nebulous organization that practices intense ana uh, ana uh, anana anatomy. <laughs> And then also, it's a oh, fuck. <laughs> and the Intense. You don't know who the fuck we are. No. Always Wait. wearing masks <laughs> when in combat or public setting. We claim to be everywhere and hear everything. We are excellent in Anonymity. political blackmail. And Anonymity. How does Jory's characters always get tuned? <laughs> Anonymity. Well, that's kind of the point. <laughs> Our motto is the one who sees and can't be seen. And we believe that we can be summarized as a follow a member. Uh, it sounds like a cult. Identities are secrets. Uh, if you can know your enemy, he becomes much easier to destroy. And sometimes, to prevent evil, you must control it. Our goals are to acquire knowledge, blackmail the unworthy nobles, uh, and bring destruction to the truly corrupt. If you were to join our organization. You will be starting out as our lowest rank as a Facium, but we can promise you that we will give you uh, a specially crafted mask. Well, do you? I like a mask. Awesome. Here you go. He hands you a mask of Amphirus, which I should probably create a magic item for it, but basically, uh, oh, when wearing the mask, uh, all Perception checks against your character has to beat a DC 20 with disadvantage, with the exception of checks such as, like, what's their gender? That's usually obvious. <laughs> they have tits, sometimes. <laughs> anything obvious is obvious, but anything where they're, like, trying to discern, like, maybe they know your voice or something, it will anything uh, obvious create is a obvious. DC 20 nice. uh, to beat with disadvantage. <sighs> And the thing is obvious is obvious. Nice. Is it possible to beat? Nope, it's very possible to beat. If you get, if you say you have a wisdom score of plus two, and you roll a check of a nineteen, you beat it. Wait, you have but to roll a twenty. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm saying the disadvantage no... reason. Well, it's meant to be practically impossible to beat. They don't want people to know who their members are. They're very much about hiding themselves. Not the point, you guys aren't a member of it. One more thing. I have a young buck here who wishes to gain some experience before he's ready to take on uh, a future task. <coughs> Would your party be interested in a new member? I can give your old buck some energy. Some oh. experience, <laughs> all right? I just opened the window and said, oh god, stop, and closed the window. I'm joking, I would not, I would not, I'm not, I can't do that, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, no, you can't. Yep, sure, okay, sir, you join the horny noble. I just heard a very quiet, oh god. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> Oh, that's why I can barely hear. Uh, yeah, I need yeah. to turn up. He's very quiet. I turned it up to two hundred. Yeah. Uh, turned me up. Yeah. You're still fairly quiet. Yeah, you're no you're worries. a quiet person, child. I am not a child. He is <laughs> older than you. <laughs> Deep through your microphone. The only child here is the racist, and the racist is not here. Therefore, we're Thank succeeding. God. Makes sense. Like how the child is the racist. Currently, I am the youngest here. Really? Are you younger than Dog? How old is Dog? I'm just gonna stop that conversation here and let's continue. Say your age <laughs> on the internet, you're streaming, say it! No, let's continue. <laughs> no, actually no, I think I'm the youngest. We tried, guys, it didn't work. No, I'm the youngest. Actually, I'm the oldest. I'm 19. Yeah, no, that's I'm... not right. Yeah, you're, um... I'm yeah, you don't sound it. <laughs> How old do, how old I sound? Yeah, no, I'm I'm uh, older than. I put you Crow. at twenty-two. Yeah, no, I'm I'm older than Crow. Yeah, I'm. You sound I'm like an old 16. man. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sixteen. <clears throat> anyway, that's oh. back back to what we're doing. So, you go into the thing. The face. Uh, the thing. The inferior member fades the into existence again. The ting. Facium. The inferior member fades into existence again. 
Uh, Jory's character is now a rank one facium. Uh, and has the cool mask. Uh, and he walks in with Sarah. Sarah, do you want to introduce yourself to the party? Uh, hi. <laughs> and we <laughs> thought I was bad. Hey, it's better than my introduction. It is better than his intro- introduction. What did he Stop, do? Stop, bitches! <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Why is that a thing? <laughs> Did you forget about that? I didn't know that was a thing. What? Wait. Look in the chat. Yeah. Uh, not the. Not How the, did you manage the, that? The game chat. Oh. Okay. I understand now. Reet. Reet. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. I understand. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly like Minecraft. Or Twitch. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Oh God. Okay. Tabungus, do you want to make an introduction while you're not being role played by people who can't make an introduction for you? <laughs> Thanks, uh, <okay>. Nick. <clears throat> hey, I believe I was the one who made the introduction last time. Yeah, because I was like, I didn't want to because I didn't know how. Well, I didn't either. <laughs> Wait, do I use a voice? I I want to, but I don't. If you want to, you Go can. Ahead. Just it's try not to make it racist in any way. It's not gonna be racist. <laughs> Ish. Ish. <laughs> hey, oh, this right. sounds dangerous. Liam. Oh god. <clears throat> Let's see if this is worse than Liam. <laughs> What's up, motherfuckers? It's your boy. Okay. No, stop. No, that's not Liam's voice for token. <laughs> it's amazing how close it is. It is. What about his, it's it's better than his first voice he did. Oh god, his first voice was the worst. Oh yeah. There's been close ones, but nothing has beaten it so far. I, I just kind of want to hear him just do like Mr. T sort of <laughs> voice for all of this. I feel. <laughs> <laughs> A beautiful. Anyway. Okay, those were some great introductions. Hi, I'm Sarah, and I'm Dungus the Bungus. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> your name, <laughs> your name still irritates me. The Bungus the Bungus the Bear D. You. I'm gonna call you Bunny. Don't do that. Don't call me that. We can argue your that. Your name is now Bunny. <laughs> You Let's just call him Tud. Make circles. <laughs> it's rabbit. No, it's a ferocious beast. Look at those fangs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Back on track. It is currently around lunchtime. You have this mysterious new elf guy who joined you. Yes, he is an elf. You can tell because he has pointy ears. He is not wearing a face and mask right now. <clears throat> so he can choose to equip it at any time. Can... It would be probably weird walking through Main Street like that. Can I um roll to see what kind of wood elf? Uh, not not wood elf. Uh, what kind of elf he is? Or uh, sure. Oh, is Make that perception? Ins- yeah, perception check. Okay, this is probably not going to go well. Uh, I would say perception because he's looking at the guy. Actually, no, this is going to go well. I forgot my wisdom is good. Why the f- oh right, you're a monk. 19. You can easily discern that he is a wood elf. He also appears to be a rogue. Oh. What is that? <coughs> Good to know. What is he for? <laughs> a rogue is a class. <laughs> no, I was, I was trying to get something out of my throat. That's cool. Um, I yeah. don't know what he's trying to get. You might have to clarify what type of information you wanted. Oh, no, no, I just want to know what, uh, what type of elf he was. He's a wood elf. Yeah, no, no, roll that I gave you some more. no specific reasoning for why, but since, that's since, nice. since I know Sarah doesn't know how to do an introduction, I was like, this is a great example of what kind of information you'd give somebody. If yep. he wants to give up his backstory, that's him. But I can understand his character not giving up his backstory. That does fit his character. I look directly at him and say, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm just going to call you Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I will smack you if you do. That, that is, that's... 
Have fun that trying. I'll there. put your arm into. I will put my arm into my bag. Your arm into my bag of holy and just keep it in there. That will not be nice. <laughs> Could make a bag of uh, a bag of eating. <laughs> oh god! Is that a thing? What is the name of that? It's an actual thing. That's a thing. Yeah, there's an actual thing like that. Why? I wonder what it does. Uh, bag of could never have guessed, mate. Never, never could guess. Bag of... bag of devouring. Yeah, bag of devouring. It looks like a bag of holding, but everything you put in it gets eaten. Uh, oh, bag so it's, 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 it's basically a trick bag. It's but it's basically a, a trick for bag it's for a gigantic extra-dimensional creature turning the bag inside out. Closes the orifice. The extra-dimensional creature attaches bag can sense whatever is placed inside the bag. Animal or vegetable matter placed wholly in the bag is devoured in la and lost forever. You when part of a living creature um. is placed in the bag, <clears throat> as happens when someone reaches inside it, there is a 50% chance that the creature <clears throat> is pulled in the bag. <laughs> the a creature inside the bag can use an action to try to escape with a successful DC 15 strength check. Another creature can use its action to reach into the bag and pull the creature out, doing so with a successful 20 strength check, provided that it doesn't get pulled into the bag first. Any creature <laughs> that starts its turn inside the bag is devoured. Its Jesus. body is destroyed. Inanimate objects can be stored in the bag, which can hold a cubic foot of such material. However, each once each day, the bag swallows any objects inside it and spits them into, it spits them out into another plane of existence. The DM determines the time and plane. If the bag is pierced or torn, it is destroyed, and anything continued within the bag is transported to a random location in the astral plane. Interesting. Very fun. Yeah, I'd be fun happy to have battle. one of those. Used in battle. He's like, oh, you just jumped from the sky and landed on top of an orc's head. It's in the bag, it's beautiful. Well, that is actually you. pretty helpful. That is I'm helpful. guessing you would actually let somebody use it as a weapon. You would have to, you would, you would, well, you could, in theory, and it's D&D, &D, that's why. Yeah, so, like, I think that could work if you plan it out perfectly, and it works. Yeah, too bad you don't have one. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway. I would just, the pull, only, I would just basically only, couldn't escape by putting a rock on top um, of the bag. You guys only have three magic items. You have a bag of holding and two masks of Nephirum. Yeah, the bag of holding is here. Well, technically, I will get another uh, thing at level five. Out of interest, uh, Nick. Yes. <clears throat> How many days was it until the shipment from the brewery was done? Tomorrow. You still. It's okay. currently lunchtime today. You have finished breaking and entering, <laughs> as one does in their mornings. Yeah. That's what I do. Uh, you got some other side quests potentially. There's a potential one with the knights, and there's a known one for the homeless man. Uh... The issue is with both of them is that we'd have to get traveling for that, and that's not really something we can do within a day. That's true. Currently, the schedule is you're going to have to take a brewery set over to back to uh, Tarnstead, and then go <coughs> back and take another set to Tar uh, to Horndean. Yeah, I remember that. You guys just want to- So you a day! How do you want to kill a day? You guys oh. just want to look around. Can I go threaten some people? What? I you him. could, but I recommend against it because this is a militarized town. I'm gonna go try mm. to sell people quote-unquote health potions. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, give me a charisma roll. Okay. You hey. will spend the day selling Fucking about stupid. five health potions. Oh, that's not too bad. Not everybody's yeah, easily scammed. Well, you see, there's people a one... can be <clears throat> There's one thing. I have another alibi. I'm hel I'm selling them healing drugs that would disappear after an hour. <laughs> they heal, but you only have an hour to use them. 
So you, they better get into a sword fight um, within the hour. <laughs> Nick, is there a some kind of training ground or arena within the city? Yes, this is a military town. There's training grounds. You can easily go there and probably go over to the Tagans base and request to uh, use their space. You, for all intents and purposes, until you others uh, say otherwise, are considered a member of the Tagan. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to go over and ask to use our training grounds. I'm going to assume that Sarah wants to join. Okay, yes. so Sarah will join you. I'll also assume that uh, Token <coughs> will join you. Okay. Since token being uh, previously militaristic would um, probably who's, be in honing his skills. Who's being so, played uh, by token today, by the way? Hmm? Who's, uh, who's playing token uh, today? Silver's running token as per usual. Oh. So, um, whoops. How, many po um, how, how much do uh, potions cost? How much do you want to sell them for? Wait, no. Likely sell them for the normal <laughs> price people tend to sell potions for, so it, less, it looks Wait. more. Uh, genuine. Maybe, maybe look, go for like a little bit poor town, just to, like get as much selling at you as you could. I mean, I mean, we're talking about Nick here, so the price of that might Tungus, be very ridiculous. They cost fifty gold pieces. Oof. Yeah, that's that's kind of oof. Uh, out of interest, have you upscaled like the price of everything? So, I actually no, I haven't. I've been using the prices as according to. Uh, you should probably you should probably do that, that, considering how high the rewards for stuff I likely, are. Um, I likely. Well, just... I went back and looked at it. With the exception of the three hundred gold piece reward, most rewards that I've given you are within the price range for some of the tasks you guys have been doing. Oh, okay. Sell them for half the price then. And why? Why is why it's is the, the brew the room three hundred? Well, first off, that's three hundred divided amongst how many of you? Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Uh, one of the other uh, things that has been stated, though, that 5e isn't really well balanced along how to use money, because money doesn't get used often, with the exception of, like, uh, inns, and inns are actually really inexpensive. True. So they'll likely sell them for about half the regular price they would sell for. 25 gold, okay. So I sold five of them, so 25 times five. Yep. Yeah. 65. <laughs> <laughs> no. 125. I know. 125. <laughs> I know. 65. Uh, King of Sinners. No, it's funny. You with, open 65. Uh, are you with? Are you with Tori, the Blood Angel? Are you helping him scam? <laughs> um, no, nah, I'm doing my own thing. You're chaotic evil. Why would you do that? <laughs> no, you're chaotic good, rather. Um, can I go have? Mutual relations with a prostitute. <laughs> I haven't had that. You can really. do that. <laughs> Please tell me oh, it's worth no. again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you go I, to... that's, I knew he was streaming, so I didn't want to say exactly what it was. Well, you I watched? It. Oh, no, no, no. You can say that. That's fine. Liam actually said, I'm going to go have sex with a prostitute. He went wait, to wait, the, uh, wait, wait he wasn't she to... called um, Black Black Uncle? <laughs> you went and had. Sexual intercourse with black chocolate. Wow. Inspired yeah, by. Yeah. That, that, I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> look, oh, up, look, up brilliant. Look, up, <laughs> look up her name with rooster teeth and you'll see who you're going to be having sex with. Please. Like, I feel like you guys are fucking up for some shit and I don't want that. Just just, just well, take just take a look at that. Have sex with her. <laughs> oh my god. And he enjoyed it. I mean, he'd enjoy anything. This is what we're talking about. I have a refined taste. No, if you <laughs> fine the video, listen, if you watch the videos, you understand that black chocolate is one of the highest end prostitutes you can get. Hold on, I'm sending him a picture of dark chocolate. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Did you look up dark chocolate? I hate you guys. I hate hey, you so much. <laughs> if you don't want her, you can choose another prostitute. I want to choose another one. <laughs> okay, you choose a random prostitute that t suits your tastes. She's scaly, she's the lizard hey, wait, one. Wait, wait, wait. She's a lizard. <laughs> wait, wait, Nick, he chooses the prostitute that's from Futurama. That really what? nails it down. I know them off the top of my head. Yeah, no, but... The old... <laughs> oh, yeah! The old lady from Futurama. <laughs> Are you talking about mother? No, oh, no, she what? means- she, he means the, like, haggy old lady. Give me a second. The one who works at like the beef farm, the beef in the Christmas house. special for some reason. For some reason, she works at a beef farm in the Christmas special. Oh, oh yeah. 
Have a, a little honey with your sugar. There it is. I'm uh. uploading the picture. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Why, why, why are you guys doing this? What reason? <laughs> there is nothing. Because uh, we can make prostitution hilarious that way. Yeah. <laughs> you have to do it somehow. <laughs> Spontaneous bootay. <laughs> Wait, is it is that Futurama? <laughs> That's in Futurama, is it? selection of no. prostitutes. Oh wait, no, that one. Oh yeah. From from um, South Park. South Park. From Team Bootay. Like, it's from the new game, the Fractured Butthole. I think it's actually an episode as well. You got probably. You got no, that's classy. Three references. <laughs> you can have a lizard woman if you want. Yeah. We can. So in some way, this is a weird conversation. Well, that's the point. That's <laughs> honestly the so point. I tried with this. D I'd rather, de prostitution I'd rather like just this. jerk myself off than fuck any of these people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Leon's character enjoyed boots. Um, is is like how like he likes? He's annoying. Is that is that, is that how you're you gonna wanna, spend the you night? You choose the prostitute that is just a lizard folk. You are a, a, a small frail woman. We can give her classy. Uh, I apologize, sir, but I don't think she'll last. Exactly. Well, uh, unfortunately, we have hey, to assure that our products aren't broken. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so oh oh dear. Okay, sure. She looks ratchet as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you just have a prostitute that is to your standards, but is immune to you breaking her because, you know, you can't break the products. Immune to you that, breaking like, her? Like, she just can't work for a while. That's it. Oh sure. wait, Let's yes. Go ahead. His strength is quite high, actually. Back to game. That leaves you, Zoen. What do you... What do I you thought Zoen came with me. Uh, Marin would probably spend the day getting Drinking. completely shit-faced. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Remember, she is drunk for all intents and purposes in the morning and has disadvantage on all rules. Yeah, <laughs> I'm aware. Yep. <laughs> and uh, Rix will probably make his way out there is like a, since this is a military base. Yep. Would you say that there is probably a hospice somewhere? Sure. Yeah, Rix would make his way there and assist in helping the people, like helping okay. the wounded. That was a good thing to do. And uh, so your day goes on. Rix heals several people and is giving a health potion and compensation. Which he may or may not accept. Uh, the three that went to train have trained and honed their skills. Congratulations. You, you get fucking strong. nothing. <laughs> yeah, well, what's, what's to expect with a day of training? It makes sense with a downtime of activity, but a downtime of one day is not going to uh, give you any benefits. There's not a thing like you can train especially, with it. Especially <laughs> considering that you have already trained in these weapons and therefore already have all their benefits. Yeah, no, wait, no, Nick, isn't there a thing where you can train for X amount of time you can become efficient in a proficient in a weapon? Yes. Yeah, but that takes a, a very long time. A downtime is not a day. Yeah, no, I just wasn't sure what... Well, well, sometimes allow you to do it faster, but it's still, like, be over 100. Yeah, no, I was just curious what the downtime was. Uh, if you were in a faction, in theory... You could do it in 125 days. Jesus. Instead of 250, which is how much it would be for the action. Oof. Uh, the prostituted guy is prostituted. And is tired. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah. And Maren's blackout drunk and in a room. As usual. Tori's counting his money. In a room? I didn't morning. even think she'd make it that far. <laughs> oh, she didn't Probably make it that pass far. out at a table Somebody or something. else did. Somebody threw her in the room. <laughs> With that, it's the next day. Uh, so you um, all wake up, you all manage to make it back. That, that counts as a long rest, right? Yes, that is a long rest. Cool. Except guess. for maybe Marum, who might have been too drunk. Lasting out as a rest. <laughs> Well, did you use skills yesterday? Did who? You. Oh yeah, I used uh, one of my key points. For? A double uh, attack. Right, against the carpet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I actually you forgot know. the cargo was and, over. <laughs> and, and I almost killed someone doing it. You know, I could have used my alchemical uh, fire yesterday on the rug that was attacking me, and it wouldn't have damaged me as much. You could have, but you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why? Are you immune to fire? Are you resistant to fire damage? Yeah. You shouldn't be. <laughs> I believe I am. Oh dear. I believe you're immune to radiant and uh, necrotic. Oh, right. Sorry, different character I was thinking. Wrong wrong root of your blood angel. <laughs> you chose the uh, blessed born. Yeah. You're a bloody angel. Okay. Nice. So it's the next morning. Everyone's been trained. They go downstairs for breakfast, except for Marum. You're at the breakfast table. Uh, do you want to start a conversation, or are you guys just going to eat and get ready to go? That answers your question. <laughs> uh, well, actually, no. I'll ask something. Yeah. How was training yesterday, guys? Did you guys learn a lot? Mm -hmm. Get big and strong. How was your training? Did you learn a lot? <laughs> I, learned, I, I, I didn't learn a lot, but I earned a lot, counting my money. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's reaction to that statement. That was great. That's a great yeah, comment. Did your training come well, you. Andy? <laughs> Wait, just just checking. Marin's still in bed. Right? Yeah, Marin's still in bed. I'm gonna so go. That's why you're not getting any weird shit about being a noble. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go upstairs and <laughs> whack her to uh to wake her up. Okay, Whoa, you go upstairs, you problem. walk into a room, and you slap her upside the head. Uh, uh, wakes up in a drunk stupor and vomits. I, I, I would I would like to uh, to note that uh at some point Marin removed her clothes. So oh, I was thinking that like, <laughs> well, she's, well, she's completely naked. Oh, yeah, geez. you know what? That actually doesn't sound like a shocking thing, nor like she would actually care about you seeing her naked. Uh, it sounds like you're trying It'd to push something like, here. Um, I think she would purposely flash you just for shits and giggles. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think if we have to be worried about anybody, it's the guy who uh, is addicted to love in the outside world now that he's left his encampment in the mountains. Uh, hey there, big guy. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, there, <big> boy. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to cause this, and I know you are. That's the point. <laughs> as soon as she comes down the stairs, I'm just gonna give her a health potion just to get rid of this trauma in my mind. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Nick's just gonna try and force this situation any way he can. <laughs> well, no, it, like... I tried to give her a health potion, and a random arrow comes out of nowhere and shoots the bottle. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds yeah, about right. Get... What? So you're standing in front of a naked noblesse. Uh, you can see across her left boob is a strange pattern that you recognize as a dragon mark. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> I didn't even know she was a dragon. Dra a dragon mark? Uh, uh, any, <laughs> any, any reference it, to that? Is it shocking her father was a dragon mark user? I didn't know that. Yes, you did. That? He used it in the fucking campaign originally before. Uh, for context, for those of you who are joining us late, uh, in this world, uh, nobility members have dragon marks, can't have dragon marks, and they basically just give them magic spells they can use. Oh, interesting. Uh, so in this case, she has a dragon mark that allows her to do some... S bunny Stop. A, well, you know what they say about rabbits, wink. Dude, that was so long oh, ago. Oh, they fucking die easily. Holy shit. That was ages ago, Nick. That was ages ago, but I'm just reading it. I, only, I don't even know why I noticed that now. Anyways, back to it. Uh, uh, you would recognize a dragon mark user and recognize that they're nobility in this world. Everybody would. It's, okay. it's common knowledge, except for maybe Tori. You yeah, would, would notice and know what a dragon mark is, but not know the connected uh, nobility status, nor the difference between a dragon mark and an aberrant mark. Hell, I might not even know what it is. Yes, you would. Your mother had one. You did? Uh, <laughs> how the fuck do you think I was casting magic as a rogue? <laughs> I didn't even know you were human. 
I was a fucking. I was not a human. I was a tiefling. I don't know how these work. <laughs> You get really cool tattoo patterns that can move across your body and glow, and they shoot magic for you. Oh, Christ. Yeah, that's, that's, how I, that's how I, I cast Sleet that. Storm. I remember you said that. That's how I classed it fucking Sleet Storm and helped everybody destroy that one corner of the map. <laughs> Why didn't I get one of those? Because I stated you're a blood angel, you're not fucking getting a dragon mark. Also, because you'd probably be hated by society. I already am. <laughs> Why? You have everybody your money. <laughs> yeah, but you're a blood angel. You're fucking recognized as a really powerful race, and everybody would want you for the military. Sure Speaking of which, would be pissed at me. <laughs> Speaking of which, somebody comes over and is like, "Hey, you, uh, you want to work for the military?" <laughs> Wait, are you still in the room? I'm. I'm still in the room. Uh, can I please? Yeah, he's still up in the room. What are you doing, by the way? Okay, so it's not. You're can talking about. Please out. throw a bottle of chemical fire at him. Can you oh, not? Sure, roll the hit. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm going to throw a chemical acid so I don't have to deal with that later. Yeah, roll the hit. Okay. It's um dexterity, right? Uh, yeah, it would be, because it's thrown. Uh, you miss the guy, and it splashes on the ground and burns a hole in the flooring. And then That's... I just plain look at him and say, next time it won't miss. <laughs> roll a, uh, uh roll a deceit. In, uh, no, deceit. Or, uh, fuck. Uh. Deception? <laughs> Deception, yes. <laughs> he believes you and leaves. <laughs> yeah, joke's on him. I can't throw that again for a while. <laughs> so what happens next upstairs, people? For some reason... Yeah, I know that's me, but for some reason, oh. uh, Zoan's just typing it. <laughs> not sure what the deal with that is. Well, you come in or not? <laughs> I truly think the correct response to him saying that it is, oh, I already came. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's this a... Been a bad period of time. Yeah, this is that's right. a bad she, accurate. She'll, she'll stand up, walk over to him, put her hand on his chest, and then push him out the door and close it. <laughs> Do you think she could walk? Wait, what? That's the hallway. <laughs> Oh, I should have kept the oh, chemical acid. Oh, is she this. putting him out of the door? Yeah, she's pushing him out. Oh, okay. Out I thought I thought she went with him for a second. And I'm like, why are you doing it in the hallway? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> she's, she's kicking him out. Why are you in my room? I'm gonna lock myself out, you idiot. Yeah. Okay. So she locked him out and goes to get dressed. No, she's I'm going assuming back to sleep. she goes to get dressed. <laughs> yeah, she'll go get dressed. Okay. Alas, what do you do? I'll just go back down and join the others. You know, I find it funny, the only time I've used a chemical acid for anything serious was to it's throw it at a chicken and melt it. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. It's the only time I used it seriously and didn't throw it at somebody for random shits and giggles. I think you can use that a certain amount of times, that's probably why. I can use it like once every, um, I can use it once and I need to take a short rest. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll go join the others. Okay, you go downstairs and you go back to the dinner. You're just kind of staring there with a red face and like a blank stare, uh, <laughs> eating your dinner. Everybody just kind of looks at you, confused. I thought it was breakfast. Breakfast, yeah. I, hey, I said breakfast. What, what? Huh? No, you said dinner. Dinner. <laughs> Sorry, meal. <laughs> meal. <laughs> Man, meat. No, don't say that. <laughs> Never say that. Some gay shit. <laughs> You just got red. You sick? <laughs> I get good berry. Make you better. <laughs> they a hammer will knock you unconscious. <laughs> I definitely gonna refuse gonna that one. <laughs> uh, Rix will offer one of his many good berries that he's been munching on. I'll place the hammer on the table. I, I'm gonna refuse. Why the, would you place uh, that on the table? Hammer. We're eating. Be respectful. 
Yeah. I'm offering him to knock himself <laughs> unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you ever need it, I'm here for you. Slides the hammer across the table. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking knocking all the food on the ground. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> God damn it. Tori, Man, since, since breakfast has been starting, you have made the largest mess in the entire building. You have burnt away part of the floor, and you have thrown food everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so far, I'm not a good house guest. <laughs> Uh, the lady behind the bar who owns the place says, Hey, you! Stop hey, that. Yo. Back. <laughs> hey, yo, no, no. stop that. <laughs> hey, you forget you. about it. <laughs> oh, I thought you said, yo, I don't say yo. She's pretty hip. I'm not gonna lie. I'm no, gonna no, she, she was saying English, not, not cool. <laughs> she was saying English, not cool. <laughs> okay, Nick. <laughs> Thanks for the clarification. <laughs> so, if you want, you guys can go make some last minute uh, purchases while you're in town. You can potentially buy like some potions of healing, uh, some spell scrolls if you really want to. I could say that there's some in town. Uh, ammunitions. Uh, can I pickpocket? Yes, you can. Yeah. Why? <sighs> Can I also? Because I want to. <laughs> like, mind your business. Uh, and everybody knows to meet up at uh, the Dumb Drinks Co., right? Mm hmm. Mm. Yep. Good. So, is anybody going to make some sales? Um, can I go look for a potion shop? Uh, you can go find a magic shop. Yep. Yes. Uh, how much are there healing potions? Healing potions go for 50 gold pieces. Oh, I'm fucking out of there, then. <laughs> what do you mean? Are you ever going to spend your mother other money otherwise? I have nine gold. <laughs> oh, wow. How are you... How much <laughs> do you guys get paid for the cockatrice? Uh, not a lot. Alright. You're right. I plus, I'm, plus I'm a hermit. That's, that's also Ooh. true. So I didn't start with anything anyway. Listen, listen. For a deal, I can sell you a cantrip scroll. Is that to who? Me. <laughs> to you, yeah. Uh, for I'll how much? Buy. Normally they go for ten gold, but for you, I'll make a deal. Seven. Uh, what kind of cantrip is it? What kind of cantrip do you want? What kind do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. hands. Wait, fuck, no, that's not it. What, what's, what's a healing cantrip? Uh... There are none. <laughs> what? Is there enough? There's no cantrips for healing. I thought there was a, one cantrip that could do small healing mounts. Uh, nope. Hmm. Uh, you Oof, have a light deal. spell. A light spell? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get in pass. Okay. I, I, yeah, I have dog vision because of my race. I'm back with breakfast. Uh, I could give you a scroll of... Fuck, I need to look at cantrips. <laughs> Wait, what is he doing? You're, you're not really selling the deal here. You're very <laughs> unprofessional. He <laughs> just said, like, yeah, I can give you a scroll of light. <laughs> I'm an elf, I have I'll give dog you a vision. Of, uh, acid splash. Or maybe booming blade. What's Booming Blade? A Booming Blade's a good booming one. Basically, uh, you make a single melee attack with a, we uh, a weapon against a creature. Uh, this, the, the cantrip uh, is an action, but uh, a combat attack is a part of the action. Okay. Uh, the target is surrounded by magical energy plus the normal effects of the weapon's uh, damage. Uh, and it can't willingly move... Uh, and it can't willingly move... Or it takes 1d8 thunder damage. Okay. Um, out of interest, with that, like, because that's a cantrip scroll, right? How many uses is that? Once. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave it. All scrolls are a single time use. Okay. You guys have a scroll, right? Is, is, is it, it's if I ever you call it a cantrip scroll. scroll. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, scroll. I'm just gonna leave it and leave first, or. Okay, you just leave in the middle of the conversation while yeah. I'm holding out this booming blade scroll. <laughs> Fuck. I'll Thought take I it. Had him. 
You want is to buy some like, scrolls? Uh, is there a sure. blacksmith around? Yeah, there's oh, yeah. There's, there's blacksmiths around. Okay, I'll need to buy arrows. It's so poor compared to everyone else. Sure thing. Uh, do you want to buy uh, normal arrows or do you want to buy magic arrows? Even Zabungus has more than me and he joined late. Uh, <laughs> what is arrows. this? Okay, I'm trying to buy a scroll. Let's see. How much does an arrow cost? 700 gold. Here. It should be cheap. 700 yeah. gold. An <laughs> arrow. Uh, one gold piece for 20 arrows. Oh, that's, yeah, I'll buy, that's I'll buy one. a great deal. So, okay, you get 20 I'll arrows. Buy. So, um, how much is he selling the scrolls for? Uh, Seven. level zero scrolls go for 10 uh, gold pieces. Level one scrolls go for 60 uh, pieces. Basically, find a spell that I like and ask for a scroll of it, see if he has it. Yep. Uh, and you can go for higher level scroll spells uh, if you really want to, but that's money. Okay. I'm looking into spells to see if there's anything I really want. Uh, so you bought your arrows. Is there anything else anybody's interested in buying while you're in a town that can provide you with provisions? No. Well, I'm gonna be buying a scroll, so... Actually, wait, no. Um, can I pickpocket three people to get some gold? Okay, roll three slate of hand checks. How do you do that? Uh, cl click on your character sheet, scroll down to where it says slate of hand, and just click that. Oh, uh, Do yeah. you know where your character sheet is? I believe yes. we showed you where that was before. Yeah, okay, so it'll be in, like, that large group of just things that you can... Yeah, do. if you want me to, I can do that it. Sounds like, that was a terrible description, <clears throat> I apologize. I, I, I can do it if you want me to. Slate of hand. Yep. It's dexterity uh, modifier to it. I have a question. Yes. Oh no, it is. What Did you want me is summon lesser demon? You want me to do it, Sin? Yeah, just yeah, if you get Let it. us find out. That's your first one? You said free, right? Yeah. Summon lesser demon is a third level spell. Okay, um, how much did that cost? Uh... Uh, you successfully pickpocket one person's thing and to get a pouch of five gold. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, how much does a third level spell cost? Is that what you asked that, me? That puts you to 20. Yeah. I'll do it. Uh, 200 gold go. pieces. Okay, 200? Yep. Jesus! Yep. Didn't the first one that cost like 10? <laughs> yeah, but that's a cantrip. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna go. Cantrips, cantrips um, are very simple and cheap. Nick, can I go to a general store? Why? Uh, provisions, uh, rations. Oh, general. Okay, yeah, you can, you can easily go find, uh, throw town, you can find stores selling provisions such as that. No what question, are you interested in buying? Uh, rations. I have a question. Rations. Yes. Am I able to uh, sell my fake potions multiple times? Like, keep going over into selling them in different places? Like, will you allow that? Uh, I would say go sell it in one location. Actually, while, while I'm back, can I um attempt to sell the cockatrice well, if... skin I have? Rations cost five silver per ration. Uh, Nick, can I also try and sell my cockatrice skin? Uh, not in this location, but yes. I mean, go if... to another location and okay. sell. Okay. Uh, so you said I ration mean, rations is five per one, right? Uh, five rations. Uh, you can get two rations for a gold piece. So if I'm able to sell my um. Ready? My fake potions multiple times, then I am going to buy the summoning lesser demon. Um, no, you're not going to be buying the summoning lesser demon at this level. Quick, damn it! Quick, quick check. <laughs> Wait, why? So it's it... only one level above me. No, it's not. Spell was cool levels level. do not right, work right. with the way. Nick, um, 
So it's ten silver to one gold, then. Uh, uh, no, it's five silver to one gold. Why is it? A ration costs five silver. Yeah, that means one gold for two rations equals ten silver. Okay, thanks. Um, I'm gonna buy five of them. Okay. There's hobos in the I city, right? So the, there are hobos in the city. I don't mind cost. It's in mind. In fact, there's um, a hobo you guys recognize. Yeah, the hobo that we're doing your quest for. Yep. Why no, I don't know. I... <laughs> yeah, no, you wouldn't have known him. Can I go into a dark alley and steal whatever they have? The homeless man. You do. Ult ultimately, you're chaotic. And what is this? Because think about it. Like they're not gonna be able to tell the guards. The guards aren't gonna believe. They're hobos. And what, yeah, what but you're chaotic. Hobo? Good. The, whatever they have, like a little bit of coin they picked up for something, food. I could take that. Dude, I'm rich. You are, you are yeah, not. You got a rich guy on your team. You don't need. You him. are genuinely not playing with your alignment right now. I think it's right more now. of the sport. I think it's Dude, more of the sport. I have 237 gold. Uh, by the way, you can sell that cockatrice skin for five gold pieces. Oh, so can I go do that wherever? Because this is not reselling an item and this is selling a fresh item, you would get the full price for it probably. So you would get 10 gold pieces for selling a cockatrice skin. Okay, can I go do that, please? Yes. Uh, while everybody's buying stuff, uh, Rix would like to buy two healers kits. Uh, do you have the price up for me ahead of time? Uh, they're for they're five gold each. Okay, so you can easily buy two healers kits. I have twenty gold pieces. I found a document called the uh, the harvester uh, the monster harvester's handbook, and oh god, is this useful? <laughs> Trying to find a good spell that I want. If it costs, if it has um requirements like items and stuff like that, will the scroll still require it? Uh, I believe scroll scrolls would still require their uh materials. No, no, they don't. Oops. Oh, okay. So, and do you know the answer to this question? Because I don't have to top of my head. Uh, for what? The smart and scrolls that, uh, are doing spells that have a material cost. Uh, they will not require the material components. There you go. Thank you. This can come in handy, knowing. Yeah, I know. It's probably. Oh, okay. Um, before we go, could I have a friendly brawl with someone? Mm, yeah. Oh, sure. You could have a brawl in the middle of Main Street. <laughs> yeah. I'll 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 have a brawl with you. I got a ball of fire left. Why did your character say brawl? You start then? you start beating up on a hobo, and the local <laughs> guards come and arrest you. <laughs> Oh, well, that's... for fuck's sake, dude. You make it sound bad, like a friendly one, like everyone's kind of having a good time. Not That's not how that's not how you, uh, work. While you're looking around the back streets hoping to find a hobo that has money for some reason, you stumble across <laughs> the fighting bar. <laughs> enter. You enter into the fighting bar and have a brawl. You get money for beating someone up to death, or not to death? To death. No. You oh, really? can if you bet. I bet Ooh. all of my gold pieces. The <laughs> first thing about fight bar is that you don't talk about fight bar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I have an idea. I have an idea. Um, I would go with you and bet every single bet I have on the other person, and yeah. you purposely lose. We double our money. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you're gonna look like a bitch. Quick, quick, quick check. I was Nick. But you're going to be a rich bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, did right, you just fine. have my stream mate? <laughs> okay, you have to come get me. I'm still sitting on the street talking to somebody. He's too busy in a fight bar betting on himself. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to say roll a 20. Roll a 20 strength check. Can we do it for him again? Yeah. 
Just don't what think about spell should I get, guys? Or cantrip. Oh fuck, sorry. <laughs> guys. <sighs> Congratulations, yeah. you win. Wait, what? How badly did you roll, Nick? Ace. <laughs> well, well <laughs> that, that was yeah, close. Lucky of the plus three. So now I have 40 uh, gold? Yeah. Get a, uh, I'd recommend getting spells that can be used to improve attacks and stuff. Or if you have the money, get a spell that can do healing. Or, well, you know, the third level, so. Don't buy a third level spell or else I will divinely punish you. <laughs> Nick, the strong and powerful. Be rich anymore, we know that much. You could get Prayer of Healing on a spell scroll. And then, like, during, during like, a short break in the middle of a fight, you can use that. And it takes ten minutes to fully cast, but it heals up to six creatures of your don't, choice for 2d8 plus your spell casting multiplier. That's a good one to have. That's also a good question. I think they should. What was your, uh, what was your question, by the way? If it would take the 10 minutes, or if it would cast instantly as a scroll. Uh, that is definitely... Because scrolls say they take one action. Yeah, I'm guessing it would just be instant then. So what was it called? You do know okay, that casting the spell by reading the scroll requires the spell's normal casting time, so it would still take ten minutes. Okay. Yep. Uh, the name of the spell. Prayer of healing. Prayer of healing. Okay. So I now have a bunch of sales charts up on my uh, screen, in case you guys want to sell or buy shit. Uh, and uh, as everybody finishes their provisions, buying their arrows and their scrolls, and fighting in a bar, uh, you doubled your money. Fucking in a bar? No, I, I've already, he's already done that. Okay, so prayer of healing, how much would it cost at the second level? Second level? Second level spell scroll costs... That's the wrong map. Oh, there it is. Spell scroll level 2, 120 gold. 120, okay. I have 117 left then. Well, that severely puts you down to normal costs. You're no longer rich. In fact, actually, you were never rich. Okay. You're I'm rich compared to everybody around me. That's true. I think that's not hard. Not hard at all. Okay. So I'm going to go ask. Um, what, I'm going to go ask uh, Jory's character if I can borrow his mask. Jory's character is the one with the mask, right? No. No. Okay. Wait. Who was it? You didn't even know he has the mask, oh, Eva. he has! You don't know he has the mask. And that even if you be... did, he won't give it to you. <laughs> Meta punishment. <laughs> I wanted to borrow it from him and go steal um, from the guy and make it so he can just buy stuff later. In the meantime. No. I'm gonna head over to the uh, Brews Unlimited. Or whatever the hell it's called. Brews Brewery or Dumb... whatever. Dumb Drinks Co. Dumb Drink Co, that was it. So does everybody start heading over to Dumb Drinks Co? Yeah. Sure. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Oop. You make it back and you see your man, Dumb Drinks himself. Scroll up to the image. <laughs> <Drinks please. laughs> <laughs> Wait, where, which, uh, where is he? What homework? Oh. I just copied a link. There's a link for it. Awesome. Open oh, it wait, up. Oh, wait. I, I, Open it up on your screen so that you can uh, show it in screen. I've already got it on there, I just need to um, hide it. <laughs> Brewmaster Barley Fist. My me, our main that, boy. That's, that's the name of the class that the image comes from. <laughs> oh. Why is it a class? Somebody wanted to be a drunk master who made brews. I just thought the image looked perfect for the guy. Yeah, it, it really does. Considering how you actually described him. You guys ready for an adventure? Eh. Oh well, yeah, old man, let's get in your car. Car? I cracked myself wagon. Okay. So your goal will be to take this here wagon all the way to Charnstedt and deliver my beer. You took a short rest before we got here, right? 
We slept. No, why would you have taken a short rest anyways? You haven't done anything that would require you to take a short rest. You and it's watched. the morning still, so you know that, right? I threw it's my still, bottle it's still the morning. at somebody. That was your own mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a bottle of fire and a literal ton of healing Maybe potions. drink some of the beer. I'm a little thirsty. Oh, uh, you can buy some beer anytime. I, I, some beer? Buy is a big word. I meant, can I have some for free? <laughs> no. Here, I give him a gold piece. By the way, for context, that thing that he's wearing, uh, Mara Montmend, the rogue, also has one on. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Here, I give him a gold piece. Oh, oh sure thing. He pours three beers and lands them on his like nearby table. There you go. Drink before you leave. Thank you. Glug, Anyways. glug, glug. Once you're done, <laughs> I hope. Once you're done, take a rest in uh, Tarnstead. Uh, and I hope for you to return with my wagon so that I can uh, make another deployment to Hornstein. Got it. Okay. Cool thing, Bean. Well, I, like this guy. I, will see you, I will see you in a week. Have fun! And you head out of town to return back to uh, Tarnstead. Look at the teammates. I like this guy. <laughs> As we know, at normal speed, this will take three days. Wait, where are we heading to? Tornstead or Tornstead? In the afternoon of the third day. Wait, Tornstead, yeah. okay. Yeah. Tornstead, not Horndean. I mean... Like, uh, this. Yeah. Though it is specifically following the road. Uh, let's go, let's... The road and just walk through the field. As you know, this is where the uh, homeless man asked you to retrieve the items from the dead guy. Yeah, uh, and for context, we'll, we'll leave that for later. For context, this is the head base of the uh, of the Tagen uh, knights, uh, and this floating mountain is where um, Alas uh, was uh, had trained as a monk. Where was I? Where were you? Somewhere's down this way, off map. Hmm. And I was off map too. I'm guessing. Uh. Fuck, no, you don't have to be off mat. You could be, like, around here or, like, around here. I mean, you were just... You could have been constantly traveling. I could just... Doing stuff. <laughs> and token this comes from this cool. place up in the corner. Very black Aaron over there. comes from here. How yeah, did I take more time to get there than he did? Uh, Because he was not from there when he woke up. He was from here. Um. And because you are way out this way. Remember, you weren't even on map. True. Okay. All right, let's get going. I see um, somebody put Tegan Palace up. Uh, I'll put that on the map layer so that it's there for. Oh no, that that was me. Tegan yeah, Place. Yeah, I just put it on the map layer so that it doesn't get deleted. Okay. Um. I'm I'm gonna suggest. Oh, yeah, I think we're using horse speed, down, or is it just? It is a horse drawn wagon. wagon. Okay. However, the time will still say the same at three days. Will it? I thought horses went a little faster than walking. Only a little. And the horses have like a very particular how long you can use them. Which is the catch behind them usually. I'm gonna make the suggestion of just going normal speed rather than trying to fast. <clears throat> Why did everything go quiet? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, someone's getting some doing... sound effects. Yeah, I thought Nick was doing something. I'm doing something. It Nick's, take a moment. Nick's doing Nick some do magic. Da -da -dun. Nick did the thing. We all start singing songs. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> okay, I've done the thing. Oh, I need to do one Nick? more thing because I didn't expect this to happen in the daytime. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, it'll happen around night sometime too. That was the intention. Well, we're all smoking some some of that good Kush. 
That no, guy. no, stop that. Sure. My character most likely doesn't know what that is. Wankadank, really? None of our char none of our characters probably know what that is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they had weed back in medieval times. No. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure no. They didn't have smoke, so they wouldn't have that either. Mm, they didn't have smoke. smoke. What the fuck does that even mean? They didn't have smoke. He's it a didn't bit. Exist. <laughs> so they just didn't fire. exist. They had fire though, so they know what smoke is. Yeah, no, you can uh, buy ex pipes. Excuse you guys. Um, you do know that halflings exist in this world, right? Yeah. Um, have they, you they seen something... Lord of the Rings? Fucking smoke! Like, you, there's no such thing Called... as smoke. It's ridiculous. They have uh, crack in you... the. As you... As you are walking along, you hear something. Rest and you rest. all prepare for combat. Gnose. Avengers, yeah, assemble. I'm not a Gnoblin. I'm not a Gnoblin. It's a Gnoll. And you've been Gnoled. Be gnoled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Go to the bottom left corner. Everyone. Roll initiative. One second, let me put up the initiative term. There it is. Now we're all initiative. Uh, give me also a second to clear the initiative. There was nothing on the initiative. Oh, whoops. Well, there was for me. Okay. Roll initiative again. That's another trash initiative. Uh, I'll roll yours, um, Tungus. Tungus the Bungus? Tungus the Bungus the Badu. Get him, bunny! Wow, we actually got a good roll and I got a shit one. I'm fucking triggered. <laughs> oh, where do I roll that? My mic's been muted this entire time. Oh, my oh God. has it? No wonder you haven't been speaking. Who was that? Is that Toy? Oh, uh, that's... that's Toy. Oh, fuck, I forgot that. So, open up your character sheet, and above uh, where your health points are, there should be three parts. One of them says... I, I, I already rolled it for him. I already rolled it for him. I got one. Yeah. You are 16. Mm. Oh my god, look how big this turn order is compared to when we usually are. Ooh. <laughs> 20 for a Ganol. He's gonna Ganol. I'm not a Ganelf, I'm a Ganom. I've already made that joke. <laughs> so? How dare you make it again? Okay. So we have a turnover. Rix is going first. Am I? Because I think I have a lower dexterity than the Knolls. Strange. I should have it calculated so that it chooses who has the higher dexterity. What's your dexterity? Zero. Uh, plus zero. <laughs> okay, cool yeah, the Knoll going first. What the fuck just happened? Gnolled. Nothing really. Nothing worth mentioning. The no, null no, is no. going to run up. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, run into the fray. And it's going to attack. Mm, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, <laughs> let him go. Oak goes, why owe you? It's going to attack, alas. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Alas, he was dead. Alas. <laughs> no, we should be good. Ask for the grass, alas. Let's just, let's just watch him crit me. Bang, one shot. He actually did. <laughs> Nick's gonna roll. Misses. It misses? Oh no. Well, at least you didn't get a tip. Oh no. Now it's Rix's turn. Get him, Rix. Get him, Rix. Well, uh... Wait a second, isn't Rix a, um... Arrow or something? He's a kobold. I meant class. Oh, he's a cleric. Yeah, I thought yes. so. Life Dominion Cleric. I'm right going one. to cast Toll the Dead on that, uh, that knoll that just attacked. Okay. It's a wisdom save. Doesn't that only work if it's, uh... If it it's works on it if it's hurt, but I'll do less damage. 
Okay, it passes. Okay. I guess I will cast that. I did that with a real life roll. I should have maybe not. But okay. <clears throat> no seen it. Oh well. That's all I'll do. It happens. We have a fire online because the rolls are worse. Yep, that is. Okay. It's the Null Hunter's turns. Hi, huh, it can't reach me this they time. Have 30. Oh, wait, 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 Nick. Before you do anything more, I just remembered that uh, Null that came into my area, uh, I have an opportunity attack on. Uh, okay. Do it. Does so... that count as a reaction? No. I don't think so. Uh, let me check. No, just so, um, if they enter my reach, I get a opportunity attack. Uh, because of... An opportunity attack means it will use your reaction. Uh, yeah. apparently so then. We could, uh, pull my master a close attack. Okay. Uh... 14. I think. 14? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh well. Wait, I thought there was three of them. Where'd the fourth one come from? Um, no, there was four of them. There was always four of them. Oh, I didn't see the fourth. Okay, so the Null Hunters have moved up and, uh... They're each going to make ranged, uh... Longbow attacks. One at Marum. Uh, and one at Tungus. So the first one is going to roll a 13. Does a 13 hit Marum? It does not. The next one is going to roll an 18. Yeah, that does hits. Does an 18 him. hit Tungus? That, that uh, definitely hit. Rix. Rix? Oh, that would hit Rix, yeah. Yeah, okay, Rix. They were aiming for Tungus. Yeah. Oh, no, they were aiming for Rix. Oh. Did I say Tungus? Yeah, you said Tungus. Yeah. That's why I said it did. They're, they're, they're purposely, they're intentionally going for the healer. Okay. You take mm -hmm. three damage. And with that, it's now Tungus's turn. Would you like to help me with this? Yep, sure. Just tell me what you want uh, to attack with, and I'll roll it for you. Um, hit the closest one to us with a whip. With the whip? Yes. Yeah, okay. So Wait, weird choice, sir. But sure. Oh, no, I got this. Indiana Jones, this bitch. Does whip <laughs> not have disadvantage at close range? I mean, I guess it wouldn't count as a. Re re role, so. Regardless, regardless if it does. Throw <laughs> the fucking eight. Well, you technically, you rolled a three. Yeah, three plus five, but. Yeah, you entirely missed with the whip. Really? Yep. Oh, yeah. You ah, just had a bad roll. God damn it, dog. Hey, I didn't control the. System. Uh, you still have a uh, bonus action. What do you wish to do with that? Is there something you can do with that? I don't think there is, but... Oh. Well, I mean, that would make sense. He is a fighter. Yeah, fighters don't tend to. <sighs> can I use my fire breath on him? Yes! Wait. Fire breath? Is that a bonus action, though? Wait, let me check that. Is it? Mm -hmm. uh, breath weapon. Uh, you can use your action to excel. Yeah, no, no it's an action. No, it's not a bonus action. So it's a, either whip or breath attack, uh, for context. Or a rapier. Or is rapier. Which does more you damage. Have, you have the dual wielding feet. Oh yeah, I do. Have oh that. yeah. Does that mean he can attack twice? Uh, well, anybody can attack twice. It means he can attack twice, and both attacks count as uh. A as single. like a, a sing oh no, um, normally if you make an offhand attack, uh, you don't gain the benefits of your strength and proficiency modifier. So, but this would override that. Are you are you attacking again? Uh, yeah. 
Go with a rapier this time? Or with a whip again? Yeah. No. <laughs> the whip is not a good idea. <laughs> Reroll it. Okay. Reroll it. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. You're right. That is no, dumb. You got some bad <laughs> Let's just see if this come out as the exact same thing. I'd be cool. Okay. At 11, you still miss. <laughs> This is this no, is why. This 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 is a pure this is a pure reason lots of us enjoy using real real dice. I might actually go grab my real dice. Yeah, you might want to like do the that. I like simplicity of using the rollers, which is why I've been using them a lot more often. But I uh, yeah, I always carry real ro dice. The rollers are a pain in the ass. They are Wait, do broken. You just, do you just need one dice or die. The reason you use uh, it crappy rolls. You need, uh, you need a full dice set, in theory, but you'd only need the ones for your damage and the ones for your, uh, your base attack, right. which is the die 20. Die yeah, I, I mean, I, I've got most of them now, even a d12, which I haven't had to use once. I have a That's because set. you haven't picked a fighter. <laughs> I, I did pick a fighter. In the other campaign, remember, yeah, I'm playing... Right, well, then you're not high enough level or you don't have a weapon that does die 12 damage. Yeah, mine's a d10 at the moment. Yeah. Tungus, do you end your turn? Um, can I go again? No. No. Oh, so then, yeah, it shouldn't be done then, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Token's turn. Okay. You see if Token does have any ranged things. I, I believed everybody had a ranged weapon of sorts when they started. I have darts. He has a long sword and a Do you want to play darts? Hand axe are a ranged weapon. Okay. You can throw a hand, hand axe. You gonna chuck it directly at the one... Wait, does he have a clean shot at any of them? Uh, no. Okay, then. Why is my He's character... Pa oh, there we go. Here. And... Is he able to hit him from here? What are the ranges oh, no, on the... Hand, hand axe ranges? range is 20, 60. So, so if you're either of those it... people would be out of range. And well, it wouldn't be out of range, damage. it would be within long range, which would be at disadvantage to throw. There, I moved in 20. Okay. Hit. 19. I don't even think I need to add anything to that to know. Okay. And that would do 1d6 plus 13. 13? What? I mean, 3. Okay. <laughs> Better not be plus 13. <laughs> plus 13 sounded uh, slightly broken. Eight. You did 8 damage. And he slightly. 8 damage. Now we have another hand axe. <laughs> oh wait, no, I need to do what Lean will do. Game for the balls. <laughs> wow. He missed. Then try and be like Liam. Stomach instead. <laughs> Toga just in there. Gang. Don't be like a Liam. <laughs> Well, I'm playing Liam's character, so I have Oh, yeah, to. you are. That's a shame on you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a real shame that we have Token's voice. <laughs> oh, completely. Everyone loves Token's voice. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna see if Token can do anything else. Uh... Is he able to do anything else? No. Nope. Okay, he's gonna end his turn. Okay. With that, it's Marin's turn. All right. Marin is still quite hammered, isn't she? Yep. Absolutely. Oh boy. Guess we'll move yeah. to here and make an attack at disadvantage. Is it? Yep. Yep. In the park. We really should not let her drink. All right. Let's see. That That's in her character, What do you mean? What? Do you know how much she consumed to get to this state? <laughs> oh boy. Eight. You miss. And then with the dagger, offhand. You see, Ooh, I can't, that's a 20. I can't do my favorite Oof. thing at that guy because it will attack everybody around him. Natural. Not natural. Was that natural? No. No. Oh. Uh, 1d4 plus 3 piercing, and then I'll also do sneak attack with it. Okay. So, uh, 
four, and then four for the sneak attack, so eight damage. Eight damage, nice. Do I have my acid pack yet? No. Nope. Has it been a short rest? 30 feet of you. Okay. Does Merrim end her turn? She used all her actions except for yep, reaction. That's, so it. I think that's a yes. Alas, it's your turn! This one. Hmm. Oh my god, this is how much it would hit if um if my if I threw my bottle of acid. I mean bottle of fire. It hits a 30 feet around the impact. Okay, I'm gonna use um the quarter staff on it. Okay. That is sixteen. Does that hit? Sixteen hits. That is five. Okay, Miss Red. Then I'm going to use my Pole Master double attack to hit with the other side of the quarter staff. 21. Hits. And that's a d4. That's another 5. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna pass. Tori, it is your turn. Okay, I, mis I misread it, I reread, and it says I can throw it at 30 feet. It takes 5 feet radius. Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna use alchemical fire. I have one of these, and I had one alchemical acid, which I already used to throw at a guy. Please, please do not throw it at the one next to me, for the love of God. I'm not, I'm not. I'm throwing it at the one that's, that's, that's the other one closer to you. Okay, thank God. Okay. I rolled a nat 20. Okay. Ooh, that would be that's bad. Well, it's an attack roll. It's a saving throw. Huh? Any creature in that area must succeed on a dexterity Loving, saving throw or take 1d6 fire damage. Oh, okay, so yeah, you need to do a DC So you can just roll. roll it 30 feet. Uh, so where do you throw it? Uh, him. Uh, what was the AC? Or DC? Uh... Has to be. Um, uh, what what is, is your spell save DC? It'll be under spells. Oh. Uh, my spell save DC is 14. It fails. Okay. And since it's not 20, I would take double, would take double damage. Not a attack roll. So oh. You don't get double damage for it. Okay, then he gets 5. Who's, who's doing that? King, we can all hear you doing that. Oh, I should mostly say oh, every single bit of grass or anything around him is now on fire. Wait a second, since when did King have died? Kind of the middle of uh, the street. Died. Oh. Yeah, I'm yeah. just saying that it looks like there's bushes and stuff around him. Why didn't you mention that from the beginning? Grass. Yeah, but it's mostly on a dirt road. It's not going to spread to the actual dirt uh, grass. Mm. Here's some you didn't have any. Um, the knoll uh, has a bit of singed fur, uh, smoke coming off of it. It's not happy. Do you end your turn? Uh, yes. And second off, all the surfaces around him are on. I have fire on them as well, so he's surrounded by fire. <laughs> uh, Is he though? Because it doesn't actually specify that they're on fire. Yeah. Yeah. That, that it Rather burns things. Vile a uh, creature, object, or surface in thirty feet of you. The co the vial will disappear if you don't throw the vial. At the end of that turn, on impact, the vial detonates in a five foot radius. Any creature in that area must succeed on a dexterity saving. Okay, it doesn't say fire. I know yeah, it doesn't say it that it sets the fire. area around you on fire because mm -hmm. there, there are things that actually specify if it will affect, like, objects for fire damage, and apparently this one doesn't. Hmm. You think it would because it's called a chemical fire? It's a. It's magic. Magical fire. It's not really magic, it's just a bottle of something flammable. Well, I mean, it kind of is magic if the vial disappears if you don't throw it. 
Okay. What's this boy doing? He is going to... Um, wouldn't it be my turn? Hmm? Uh, nope. I, I had a five initiate. Oh, your character didn't get put into the turn order. Did, did you click your character before you rolled the initiative? Uh, what do you mean? Uh oh, as Sarah? Okay. You have, you have to literally click your character before you roll initiative. Okay. Don't worry, I put you into the initiative order with five. Okay. Uh... Sarah, it is your turn. Can I shoot, uh, this one, uh, by the tree in the shadows with my arrow, with my bow? Yes! Uh, what is the range between you and it? Let's see. Uh, it the is 50 feet away. away. I believe that's in the, in the range, right? Wouldn't they have disadvantage from token? No, uh, what kind of bow is it? Oh, uh, it's a short bow. It's a short bow. What's the ranges on it? Range on a short bow is 80. 80, 30, or 80, 320, so he could hit it. Yeah. You can hit it. Okay. Wouldn't he have disadvantage from token? No. Okay. That's like, token is not directly in front of him, and plus if anything's in front of him, it's token's blade in the picture. So then I, I would roll a, a damage would be d20? Uh, to hit is d20. Yeah. Uh, I just how much damage that be Dexterity it is. and proficiency. What is your dexterity modifier? My dexterity modifier is 4. So 17 plus 4. You, know, you exceed at 20, and then you probably have a plus 2 on top of that. Yeah, you hit him. Okay. And then 1d6. 1d6. 6. 7. 8. 6. And then, can I also do sneak? Sneak attack on him? You're not next uh, to him. Uh, he's not got an ally near it. You have nothing that qualifies this as a sneak attack, so not this round. Okay. Oh, is Sarah another rogue? One piercing damage. Yeah, Sarah's another rogue. I, oh, I yeah, said yeah. that when you asked about him. Oh yeah, you did. Uh, so a die six. So you got six plus your uh, uh, dexterity modifier, which was four. Just four, yeah. So you just did ten damage on uh, him. Good job. It is now that Null's turn. You know. I missed. It's gonna run over. Okay. And it's going to take the action sudden rush uh, to run through like over token to a position where it can attack Rix. Karma. So we're saying karma. And that is the end of its turn. Really going for this. turn again. Uh, the null. Seeing a situation is going to make another spear attack at uh, Alas. Misses. And critically fail. And then it ends its turn because it doesn't have a situation to flee. Rix, it's your turn. Rix is going to use his racial. Okay. Grovel, cower, and beg. As an action, I can cower <laughs> pathetically to distract near <laughs> nearby brothers. <laughs> Until the end of my next turn, my allies gain advantage on attack rolls against enemies within 10 feet of me. So that'll be both the gold, both the noble. <laughs> what is this thing? Grovel, cower, and beg. That is amazing. That is a thing. I love that. <laughs> That should not exist. <laughs> wait, remind me. That's all Rix can do. Wait, 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 what, um, what? Okay. 
Null turns. Who is Rex? This Null is going to run over to Marum and start making his attacks. Oh, that's cool. Oh, he's a Kobold. Four. Yeah, he's a Kobold. Does a... Uh, does an 18 hit. 18 hits. Okay. I'm gonna argue it's being used as a two-handed weapon. Oh, wait, uh, Sarah. You take six damage. Okay. He's gonna whip around and do, a, like, a slashing attack with it, which will count as a one-handed spear attack. And he critically fails, so he, his second attack doesn't hit. Uh, what is it for, um... What's the modifier needed for, um... Which one of us would go first? Because me and Sarah have both five. Uh, dexterity. Yeah, whoever's I got the higher dexterity, which probably is Sarah. Or we could just leave it how it is, because I don't think it truly matters at this point. Yeah, not really. Hmm. It's not like you're arguing which between you and an enemy is going first. Meanwhile, this Cobol, uh, this, uh, this Null is going to turn around and use a dash action to flee into the woods. A coward. He's trying to get away to warn his teammates. So it's the furthest one. That one out. Ah. Okay. That boy's gone. Tungus is turn. Okay. Um. You rolling your left now? Or... Hmm. So I'm assuming you have a D twenty on you now, right? Yeah. Ooh, I guess we're all in battle. Uh, the Reaper. Uh, Rapier. 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 Tungus, can you do me a favor and, and move over a space? Hmm? Can you do me a favor and move over one space? Is oh, that way I have a clean, a cleaner shot to run at the guy? Yeah. Right there? Yeah, I'll do. Alright. I'm going to be... Dashing, I'm going to have to still go through hours, but it's well. It's not your turn. Uh, it's not your turn. So uh, Tungus, I know. you still have your turn. All right. Um. Know, yeah. So it was it. my turn. So I'll just roll the twenty and then the roll number. twenty and add the uh the strength uh the modifier that says to add yes. And do that twice because the one that you're attacking, uh, is within ten feet of me. Okay. And it can be. Two and ten. So take the ten, add them on the fire. Dog, you're up. What, sorry? The modifier <laughs> is, uh, for the rapier, is five. You get a twelve. I got a ten. Oh, 10, that's 10. 15. So he has 15 to hit. 15. Which one? Yeah, you're okay. You're attacking that one. 15 hits. But just hits. Lucky. That's a D3 plus piercing. A D8 plus 3. I still love that move. Do you know I have a D8 on you? Hmm? you have a D8 on you? Oh, uh, no. Not on me. Okay, one sec. You do seven damage. And slay the dreadful beast. Yay. <laughs> That's so unenthusiastic. Jesus. I need to get a drink. I sometimes do that. He is dead. You're welcome, everyone. Gravel. Token, it's your turn. After yeah. I did. First off, I'm just doing this quickly. I'm just doing this quickly with my character to see something. Okay, I can hit him from there. He has foliage cover. 
Yeah, to a disadvantage. So I'm going to argue that you'd get disadvantage, yes. Okay, so Token is going to attack this guy over here, who we get advantage from because of the yep. grovel. You're groveling, it's helping us. Usually when somebody does that, it's usually a disadvantage for us because we're down a player. You hit. Mm. And he's gonna end his turn there. Marum's turn. Marum's going to bonus action disengage. Get away from that fight. Make her way around token there. And attack with her short sword. Okay, roll the hit. This is a normal roll because she's got advantage drunk. from that, but disadvantage from the drunk. <laughs> so, uh... That's a two. Uh, I think you miss. Just, just maybe. You know, I'm surprised Jory didn't pick a class that would actually benefit from being drunk. Uh, I probably wouldn't have let him. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. I'm currently sad that I didn't go with, along with his original choice of being the arcane archer and just shooting magic arrows everything and then just dual wielding crossbows and going pew 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 pew. <laughs> Why does it not surprise me Jory tried that? No, I was the one who tried to convince him to do it. He then was like, no, I want to be a rogue. I was like, fuck you. Oh. Does Mara Mender turn? Uh, yeah, that's all she can do. Bonus action and all that done. Al uh, alas, it's your turn. I'm gonna head over to the one that uh, Marin just left. Actually, wait. Hmm. Oh, you already moved your character, go back! <laughs> oh, fuck, fuck you, okay. Uh, no, let's go off it anyway. Yeah, you might as well get to it. Yeah, I was half considering going back just for the, um, just to just complete the Surambi of one, but I'd rather not leave it. Plus, I'm not gonna be there. So uh. Completely surround it. So. Poor stuff. It goes up to 20, unnatural. Guessing that hits. Okay. Yep, that hits. Ooh, wait, no, I didn't need to roll that one. Whoops, uh, that's a 9 damage. Okay. Now I'm gonna use the double attack again. Yep. Whoops, that rolled off table. That's a 19. It hits. That's another six damage. And I'm gonna pass. Okay. Tori, it's your turn. Okay. I'm going to move. Oh wait, there's nobody in my way now. So I can move. Cool. 30 feet. Are you chasing after that cobalt? He's probably going to be gone by the time you even get up there. It's not a cold bald. No, no, I was thinking of uh, Rick's for some reason. No, uh, after the, um, and nose. I'm going to use Eldritch Blast with disadvantage because of, you know. No, Eldritch Blast, sure, you can just use it straight. I rolled a 17 and a nat 20. Why did you get advantage? I didn't. The other one was a nat 20. What? Then why did you roll a 17 and a nat 20? They have disadvantage from the foliage. You said you don't have disadvantage. Oh. We're just going with the 17 anyways. 17. It was the first one I rolled either way. Roll for damage. 
And the damage for Eldritch Blast so is... So die 10. Yep. I'm gonna roll it here, because that's easier. This so occurred to me, if I didn't go there, and I went full Damn speed, I probably could have just... Why is that adding charisma? Hmm? You're adding charisma to your damage rolls. Hmm. You're not a warlock. I think it came from warlock, though. I'm not sure how I got it. The only way that a warlock, or that you're supposed to be able to add that, is through a warlock, uh, what is it, the yep. ability things that they get. Which would make it an agonizing Eldritch Blast, which gives it the, uh, charisma. So that's supposed to just be a one. Hmm. Pretty sure there's an, uh, in addition, choose first. Or... I think there was something that gave me it to begin with. That's that I used my, no, um, from the class. Be. Remember I got it from somewhere. Where did I get it from? Kind of annoying, because I just realized if I dashed, I could have made, I think I could have made it pretty close to it. Yeah, but you also wouldn't have been able to attack it. Hmm. Yeah, but it also would have, um, have gone away. Mm. Well, okay, shot so Sarah's turn. Sarah, there is a uh, strangely grumpy looking knoll right beside you. I'll attack with my sword sword. Short okay. sword. You hit. And then damage. Yeah, hit that short sword button, right, uh, the short sword comment right below uh, the roll. So right below the roll. Uh, there you go. You do six. And you kill it. Yes. Okay. Rix, it's your turn again. Alright, well, I'm not groveling anymore, so I'll cast, let's see, what do I want to cast? Uh, let's just toll the dead on the one by alas. Okay. Alas, I missed. It fails. Is it hurt? It uh, is. Yes. It takes eight necrotic. It's dead. Hey. Let's just... We'll run out of one he's fleed. <laughs> yeah, have fun getting there. Yeah, no, we're not gonna make it. Uh... Especially considering... Rix, you end your turn? Oh, wait, it's yeah. his turn, so it's just gonna... That's all I can do. Fleeing one leaves off the map. Okay. <laughs> At least injured. Yeah, injured... No, that's always a good sign. Injured isn't dead. I'm aware of that. <laughs> Dead isn't even a good sign. No period is a bad sign. Why? Crazy. Because, because those things robbing it. I don't even know what a null is. It's the thing that I. raided the city in the dream that killed you all. Oh yeah! Now I remember. Oh my god, I remember that thing. You weren't there. You, don't? <laughs> you weren't there! It was the joke, I don't know what's going on. Okay, what so the context... Let's all stop fighting and talk this out. <laughs> Well, you're yeah, in combat anyways. How much XP do we get? Let's see. You got... Uh... 400 XP divide amongst all of you. How many of us here again? For, uh, uh, I think you're getting up to 7. But by 7... 400 divided by 7 is 57. 57 each? Yep, which works out for some of us. That puts us up to 90. Uh, do you want me to do it for you? Yeah, how do I do that on mine as well? Uh, it's literally, if you open your character sheet, there'll be experience points at the top. You just click on it and put in... Um, it won't let me I can't press it. mine. I, I've, I've already done yours. Uh, I'm hacked. Someone hacked my account. Since I've already done yours, don't worry about it. Almost 3 o'clock, I gotta hurry up. Hmm? I gotta go so stream. And so, how long have we been gaming for? 
Well, we started at two, I believe. From it's now. it's almost uh two hours. Yep. Yeah, and we're going oh. for three today. Yeah, we're going for three. <laughs> Forgot about that. Got a lot of long sessions. So we continuing the long path. I'm guessing Nick. Or does anyone want to look for loot? That's a good point, sure. actually. Uh. Okay. Can we check out for loot quickly? Uh, you can look through. You discover, uh, one of the gnolls has a lot of fingers around its neck and it appears to have an arm on its hip. It has two short swords. Okay. I think the fingers. Useful. I'm, I'm not going to take the short swords. Good. You're not taking the fingers. I'm not taking my short sword. Nice. I didn't want Come on. Good I'll take nice. the fingers. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. I called the fingers. No, why do we want their to have fingers? fingers? <laughs> why do we want like, their fingers? <laughs> proof of the kill, obviously. Like, if I'm pointing at someone, I could just use one of the fingers. <laughs> okay, I'm going to chop off its head. Whoa. You also okay, find so uh, a couple bows. You find a longbow, a spear, another longbow. Is there any arrows? Spear. So yeah, I'm gonna um, chop off yes. one of their heads. Uh, there are uh, approximately 40 arrows. I'll take them. Nick? Sure. Yep. Um, do they have their heads? Head sure thing. Yeah, have a head. <laughs> Nick, do they have a uh, regular blood? I'd say they have demonic blood. Okay, can I collect armor the fun. demonic blood? Oh, yeah, They're wearing blood. armor that is patchwork made of multiple different types of armor. A combination of leather, plate, chain, whatever they could make, uh, managed to collect. Yeah, I'm gonna use one of my empty jars and grab some of the blood after I chop off his head. Oh, yum. Blood's okay, just draining sure. out of the, um, veins. Just get a syringe. <laughs> What's a syringe? Uh, fuck. <laughs> I don't need a syringe, I have a big uh, jar that's just dripping blood into it. I have no idea why you're collecting a null head. Jar and just drip it. I mean, wait. Wasn't Where he the one who was obsessed with poison? Once you moved? Um, is there any gold I'm at all? take it no? to the, um... No, there the isn't. Guy. There the isn't any gold. So yeah, after I chop off its head, I'm going to take a piece of fabric and put it to the bottom of it so I don't get blood everywhere. Yum. Okay, they definitely have fabric upon them that you can do this with. Yeah. So now it won't drip blood in my bag as much. Much. So it won't drip blood in your <laughs> bag anyways. It acts as a storage space. It kind of freezes time. True. Still. Okay, yeah, I'm going to drop it into my bag of holding. Just like Shaggy. What? <laughs> <laughs> like he's into okay, using one percent of his power happens. levels. Okay, so you make it for a uh, short rest time. Um, is I this got like? A gift for you. Is this to prove that we killed the bandits? I got a little gift for you. Take that head. <laughs> you have a short rest, and you can use your time to eat one can ration. I roll survival. And regain anything or recharge your hit points. Can I roll survival to look for food? Sure. Um, for hunting. Okay. Hunt. A hunting? I ordered 21. I order a pizza. <laughs> I order a oh, pizza. You ordered a pizza? I ordered a 21, Nick. Yeah, I heard you. You find enough rations for you and three other people. Okay. Hey, Doug, what's up? Uh, would, would they um spoil if I didn't eat them? Uh, yes. Okay, I'm gonna offer them to anyone else bag. who wants one. Dude, you can put it in my bag. A anyone? Anyone? One, I'll take one. One of the rations? Uh, I'll... I'll give one to Sin uh, Sinister's character, uh, Tungus, and one to... Was that Sil Silver you wanted one? Yeah. And I'll give one to Silver Crater's character. Okay. Tori. Tori, that was it. Does anybody use um, this time to regain hit points? Uh, I am currently at full hit points. Okay, so you continue on your day, and you don't spot anything, but um, uh, as it starts to get to evening, you uh, hear the cackling you heard from the first time you made your way to Broken Shield from Tarnstead. 
Careful, careful, careful. Tackle! Uh, can I go investigate it? Wait, no, who heard it, sorry? All of us, or just one of us? Uh, somebody in the middle of the night heard it, I don't remember who. <laughs> it's been a couple weeks since. And as it dawns, it's night time. It's ready to decide on your shifts. How do you want to do this? I'll go first. I didn't mind where I go. Just give me an order, and I recommend two people per shift. Okay, I'll go first. I'll be one of the first ones. Rix will yep. join you. I'll go alone since it's uneven. Yeah, but you're weak. Yeah, no, it'd probably be better to put someone like me. They're all a level above you. It'll, 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 it'll be worth having three on, it, three on one shift. Uh, he can have a shift with uh, Marin. Oh, oh actually, now they gotta hop out quick. Or, yeah. I I wouldn't trust I wouldn't trust phase two of a shift, so I'll go join with join them. I don't know where I got Eldred's blast from. Wait, let me type this out. So it. Is it a feat? Yeah. I um... checked on my feet, and there was nothing. So I got a cantrip from my other class or anything. Wait, so. <laughs> So for the first one was Zoan and Silver's characters, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Shift two is... Is King of Sinners and Marum. I yeah, but, um... I'm, I'm, I want to join that shift since I think Marum's going to be drunk and King's probably just going to have to fight alone because of that. Uh, apparently we now have a three-person shift. That's bad. I'm. I mean, considering that it's, it's uneven, uneven, it's uneven. So do that, or it's. It's, it's, it's pro I mean, I can go. I can go alone if that's the case. I don't mind doing that. Who's third shift? I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I gotta go. Okay, I'll take over your character. Shift? Who's going yeah, to join? Yeah, uh, thanks. Uh, who is third shift? Sorry. Death's there. character, Sayer. Okay. Uh, who's left who hasn't got a shift yet? Uh, Token. And you. Unless you're joining the other one. Uh, Token can take it. I guess. And I'll, I'll do one alone. And you do a lone shift, uh, early in the morning. Okay. Mm hmm In the middle of the night, during the third shift. Oh, good God! <laughs> roll perception checks. Wait, was Tori even in the third shift? I didn't hear that was the third shift. I was in the first one. Tori, wasn't it? Check. Yeah, that's the third shit. Okay, yeah. yeah, I'm in the first. Oh wait, who was in third? It was Token. Okay, I roll Token. Uh, oh, we shouldn't have advanced. Either way, it would be 19. Okay. So give me a quick second while I set up the map again. Get the number quickly, be right back and get a charger. What are we waiting for? Uh, me to set up the map. Uh, okay. Zoan? Huh? Can you help me re-look through my cantrips and everything to see... I mean, not my cantrip, my features to see if, um... 
to see if there's one that would give me Eldritch Blast, or if I just have Eldritch Blast for no reason whatsoever. Um, I have interest in it. Yep. With, since, um, when with a trance with racial with elves, since they only have to spend four hours meditating Found instead it. of eight hours sleeping. Magic initiative. That's the one it was. You learned two cantrips of your choice from the class spell list. In addition, you choose one first level spell from the same list. You learned that spell, and using this feat, you can cast uh, can cast it as a lowest level. Once you cast it in this way, you must finish a long rest before you can cast it again in this way again. Your spell that doesn't ability, give you the charisma. Your spellcasting ability for these spells depends on your class you choose. Charisma for bard, sorcerer, or warlock. Wisdom for cleric or druid. Or intelligence for wizard. That doesn't mean that you actually get that for the spell. That just That's means the that the spell rolls. requires the damage it. Rolls. Yeah. Well, does it apply to the attack? Okay, whatever. Okay. Uh, people are resting. Mm hmm Sarah and Token are on guard. Token notices... Uh... Uh, here's footprints. Here's uh, footprints. Something is coming. Here's footsteps. My mistake. God, not a manatar. Manatar? Oh, what the fuck? That's, that's, that's horrific. Yep. Is there going to be a manatar? No. Oh, please, no. So, you hear the stuff happening. And, uh, Token hears the stuff. Sarah, you don't seem to notice. Looks like a similar map to me. Yeah, we didn't move very far away. It <laughs> took a few hours just to walk over, like, you know. <laughs> I just have a single battle map, just accept it. I know, I was joking. So... Uh, Definitely shouldn't wake everyone up. Token hears stuff hap uh, coming up. Uh, does Token have dark vision? Let me check. Also, before we roll initiative or anything like that, I'm going to say this now. I'm going to... if, if they woken us up yet? Nope. No. No. Oh, okay. So it's just them. Um, token... Wait, uh, <laughs> this. Uh, yeah, Token has dark... Wait, that's my character. She got failed. No wait, wait. <laughs> Zoan, why specifically like a car? Uh, no. He does not have dark vision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cat. That makes more sense. No, Token So Token can hear vision. something, but he can't see anything. It's going off of pure hearing and alone. I have dark vision. Yes, I know, but you're not facing that direction right now. Yeah, yeah, no, what's going on? Damn it! Can can Token do one thing I told him to do just in case? No. Oh wait, no, that wouldn't have, that wouldn't work either way. I told what Token. What would Token do in this situation? I was going to say, try to find me and grab my bottle of chemical fire. You know. As much as you're trying to play as Liam, don't. Do what you'd normally do in this situation. Yeah, don't, don't do it, Liam. Liam wouldn't Tell grab the guy the you can see fire. in the dark to look! Liam wouldn't go for the alchemical fire, he would go for the I alchemical know. acid. I know! Liam wouldn't do anything. Or he would try to hit them and fail miserably. Well, first off, he doesn't even know that there's enemies, he just hears footsteps. He'd do it anyway, it's Liam we're talking about. Okay, I'm taking over Token for a second. Token goes over to Terran and says, I hear something coming from that direction. Sir, you look over, and guess what? With dark vision, you spot uh, what appears to be five gnolls. Oh Why did we put the person with no dark vision on, surveil on surveillance? Because sound is still a uh, perception you can use. And everybody has to make a turn for surveillance because everybody needs rest time. Hmm. So it looks like that rest is about to be interrupted. I mean, unless they somehow forget to wake us up. I mean, assuming that they spent like 
It honestly ends up being like four hours trance. So. Yeah. Maybe a slight chance. Because, uh, Nick, since this is third watch, this should be like four hours into the night, right? Yep. Wouldn't I have finished, um. Trance? That's how it works, right? No, it, Trance doesn't finish, it's how much you, you just need a base amount. Oh, okay, so it's actually just. So that you've had a long I've... rest. Okay, I see how it works now, thank you. But, technically, you would not be awake. I see. Still be meditating. Okay. I'm a phone call. So Sarah, you see these things. Be heard. I shall be back. Roll for initiative. I think you have to clear it. I did. Hashtag don't wake us up. Also, Jesus fuck, the Manatar, I forgot that thing existed. And I'm sad that it does. It doesn't. Uh, I, got 13. I know, but I'm sad that that picture existed. Oh yeah, the picture itself. Do um, we also- you know. <laughs> No, we're all still asleep. They'd have to go okay. wake us up. But we don't roll initiative. That's how it works. It might say otherwise. Uh, yeah, you can roll an initiative once you wake up. Mm hmm. Also. Uh, okay, uh, so Sarah. You s so, Sarah, every time you go to roll initiative, click on your token first, Tam. Uh, click, click on, on your token, token before you finish it. Oh, yeah. click on, like, me? Yeah, and yeah. then roll it. There you go. Uh, don't worry, for now you've already done it. Okay. He rolled the okay. exact same- oh wait, no he didn't. The Null is going first. It's going right for you. Oh dear. And it runs right up uh, close to Sarah. And it's going to make a spear attack. 11 to my AC. Uh, fails. Awesome. You uh, luckily do not get hit by it. Sarah, it's your turn. I'll go for a strike with my uh, sword sword. Remember, it is... Don't wake everyone up. Oh, um, shit. You guys wake me up. Not level three yet. Doesn't matter. Hey, you don't wake up or not? No, I, 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 yeah, you know. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. You guys can so... wake me up. I can mostly throw a chemical. It's not like anyone's up. Dogs are next to you and light them on fire. He's a also not in range yet. Yeah, he's not in range. Also, sir, yeah, you're not in range yet. Okay, so he's right he's... over this, right? Yep. Do I want to move that? Well, if you want to attack him, yes. True. Or you could wake everyone up. Well, yeah, he said that. Uh, I, I was also thinking that. Could I run over and wake everyone up? You could. I'll do I'm that. planning on getting Token to do that since he can't, um, since he can't see, so he's less of a benefit in the fight right now. I mean, can he even see the tents? <laughs> There's tents? I mean, he's basically- Oh, wait, no bedrolls oh, or whatever. Under the stars. Yeah, uh, Token so... can easily wake you guys up if you had to. The one okay. closest to me, uh, I'll jump over and I will go for a sword sla uh, slash. Okay, 15 does hit. Okay, damage. Oh uh, no, you hit the short sword underneath the, uh, oh, the original sorry. roll. Six, you hit, uh, for six damage. Uh, as you could use your bonus action at the time, since you're level one, you could use it to make a second attack with, uh, say, the dagger or another short sword. Do you have a dagger or a short sword to spare? Yeah, I have a dagger. Okay, yeah, you can make a dagger attack. Dagger. Uh, it would just be a straight uh, roll 20, or uh, a straight die 20, right? Yeah. I'm getting that wrong zone. Uh, 
it. I think so. Yeah, you don't add any damage bonuses or anything. Oh, yeah, you, you don't get any of your bonuses for the roll. So just roll, 20. You have... roll a straight 20. 14. Uh, you miss. Damn. That's a big oof. And that's my turn. Yep. It is Token's turn next. Token's going to yell as loud as he can to wait. Would that be a roll or anything like that? You, you went, you went, like, go my. No, but everybody out. else has to make a roll to wake up. Okay. What's the roll? Except for the trance. The trance guy can wake up automatically. Oh. I think, you know, trance. In that case, I'll roll initiative now for a moment. Roll initiative. Everyone who's sleeping, uh. What would that roll be? Perception. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, oh, never mind. Make a, whiz, uh, make a perception roll. Make a perception. Uh, I'm gonna roll it for Tungus. Just perception. Oh, yeah, he wakes up. Rick wakes up. Perception, uh, he rolled 17. He I just play and look at Token and scream and Everybody yell wakes up. back at him. Screw you! Why would you just yell screw you? Oof. He woke me up. <laughs> Shouldn't you be in a panic because of what he screamed? Oh wait, whoops, I forgot to do that. You screamed, wake the fuck up. I'm not going to question why. I'm tired. Why? Okay. Looks like you have to reorder. Everybody put their initiatives in? Yep. Yeah, I think. No. 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 Yeah, I think that's all of us. Okay. So Rick's and Tori will be passed. It's, Sarah, it's Token's turn. Uh, it's Token end his turn. Oh wait, did that count as an action or? Well, he only verbally yelled out. I'm guessing no. No. Okay, how far can he move? Uh, he can move his normal speed. I know. I'm just checking. I actually didn't know how far he can move. Because Liam usually does that on his own. Okay, I go behind him. Why not? You have to move through somebody to get there. Oh, you can't um, move through the null space. Now go here. Okay. Is there any chance I can get a stealth attack on him? <laughs> Since he doesn't know I'm here, likely? Yes, he does know that you're there. Blinded uh, condition 5e. Let's see how that works. Yep, you just have disadvantage on your attack. Yep. Okay, so you miss. Did I hit him? <laughs> no. Alas, it's your turn. Do you have dark vision? Yeah, I have 60 feet. Okay, you can see in the night. I am an L. I'm not a Gnoble. <laughs> <laughs> um... Gonna move to here and throw one of my darts. Uh, at which one? One closest. By one. Okay. Throw your darts. Roll the hit. That's a four. That's nine. I'm guessing nine that's a hit. no. Yeah, nine ten. Yeah, that's a no. That's a no, Captain. Yeah. Next group of Noel's turns. Yes, yeah, chef. One's going to move over here. Start making multi attacks. He's going to shoot. Uh. He's going to shoot an arrow at Tori and Ricks. So that's two different attacks. Uh, Tori, you're hit. Let me guess. 20? Ricks, you're also hit. Uh, not 20s, but they would surpass 20 in damage. Hmm. Tori, you take 9 damage, and Ricks, you take. Five damage. 
Hey, um... Rick? Rick's just the one who got hit, right? Huh? Uh, both of you got hit. Yeah, I'm asking if he was the other one who got hit. He's the other one who yeah. got hit. Okay. How much health do you have normally? Uh, my hit points maximum is 15. Okay. I'll look at him and say, on a scale of 1 to 15, how hurt are you? Half! <laughs> Just Why? Half. <laughs> you just said half. Rick's doesn't know your numbers. 7.5. Rick's is stupid. <laughs> so wait, Rick's doesn't know who I asked him? Rick's barely understands common. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then when it's my turn, I'm just thinking to ask him, How injured are you? He's, is he saying half? Yeah, he's saying half. Okay. Uh, another Null Hunter is going to move to a different vantage point and once again make two attacks on you two. Uh, Tori. What's your AC? My AC is 15. Yeah, it hits. Uh, Rix, what's your AC? 16. It misses. Tori. You take four damage. Jesus. Okay. Or he's getting the big oof. Yes, I am. I'm almost dead. But I have a good thing in this situation. This null flesh gnar is gonna run up to token. Uh. And make its three attacks. What's token's AC? Nineteen. One hit, two hit, one miss. Damn, they're hitting over 19? They have a plus four to hit. He takes a total of 10 damage. He has five hit points left. Yep. So two of us are almost down. Mm-hmm. We know. And the other Null Gasher is going to uh, perform its uh, its sudden rush action. Hmm. And end its turn. It's Marim's turn. She's had some time to snuck off the alcohol. She is no longer drunk. Alright. Uh, well, Marin is going to... Uh, can she get into her bag and light up her hooded lantern? So we can see? Yes. Alright, she will do that. What's the radius for that? Uh, 30 feet bright light, and then I think... I'll check real quick. Oh, by the way, Rex... I uh, tell you. casts bright light in a 30 foot radius and dim light for an additional 30 feet. Mm, okay. Uh, Rix, I should probably tell you this now. You're able to reach into my bag and pull out a, a basically a potion of healing. Uh, would that just be her action to do that? Yeah, it would be your action. I would say that would be an action. action. I'm yeah. talking to you. I'm talking to DM. Going into my bag. Going into my bag. Talking to action. DM, not you. Oh. It would be an action, I said. Alright. Then uh, that'll be all for Marin. Okay. Actually. Uh, uh, you can, can you put on a radius action. circle? Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's got cunning action, so she could do some sort of movement or hide. Uh, well, she's kind uh, of giving off bright light right now, so it'd be kind yeah, of hard for she, her to hide. Yeah. Can you but, put a radius uh, on for her light? 30 bright, 30 dim? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Rex? I'll just put the 30 feet for the bright light. We heard you. I know. Oh. 
Just making sure. I'm not sure how injured he is. I have ah. heels, boy. That's Plus, he's a cleric. I'm a cleric. How do I keep forgetting that? Yeah, people who need healing right now are me and Token. Uh, one of the Null Hunters is still in the darkness. But you can see this radius now. Can everyone else see it? Who? Yeah, whoever that is, I said hi. Yeah, you just got muted. Okay, so, uh... That's not good, because it's, uh, Tungus to Bungus' turn. Well, it's, uh, it's Tungus to Bungus' turn. I'm pretty sure the person who's playing him is muted. Yeah, I know, he said he'll tell you, but anyways, I'll just run Tungus to Bungus for now. So, who is that? Nope, never mind, he's playing. Okay, Rapier. That hits. It takes eight damage. Are you going to uh, dual wield and attack with a second weapon? Okay. Seventeen hits. There's a hole in one of my dice. I don't know how it got there. Science. Okay. Good damage, good damage. Y plus one. Did he really just do that? I'm ignoring him from now on. It is the Knoll's turn again. The Knoll is going to once again make a pass at Ser with a bite action. Ser, what's your AC? Oh, actually, why am I doing it even in here? Uh, that's the one I have in here. Okay, it misses. Never mind. That Knoll ends its turn. Rix, it's your turn. Well, these Knolls are... Uh, it's, it's currently nighttime. And I'm not in the sun. This is my element. Uh, Rix is going to cast Shillelagh. You want to try to heal the two yeah. very injured people? Yeah, you're fine. He I cast Shillelagh, moves up, and he's going to make an attack on this knoll with pack tactics. And since he's okay. got direct sunlight, he's at advantage. Uh. 16 to hit. Uh, R Rix does uh, that null? Rix hits. Uh, that's 9 magic bludgeoning. Hello, Lily. 9 magic bludgeoning, eh? Hmm. Wait, magic? That's not even odd. Right, magic. He's in Shillelagh. So this one, you actually kill this guy. You chop bricks. Uh, do you end your turn? Uh, yep. Casting. Okay. Right. No, right. Okay. Tori, it is your turn. Okay. You're mortally wounded and can make healing potions or something like that. Yep. You also have a second level spell that you could have used earlier for healing everybody. Well, we weren't all injured at that moment. 
Fair point. I'd say hold on to it still. Yeah, because only two of us are injured. So yeah, I'm gonna use healing draught. Okay. Does it take ten, ten minutes to actually? One d eight hit points. Fear. Which one's my one d eight? So yeah. Uh, well, my dog, you back for now? Yeah, I am. Sorry about that. Ow. Just one d eight. Yes, it is. Okay, I heal eight. Awesome. Crit. Do you end your turn? Uh, I am also going to move over here. Uh, yeah, I'm getting my turn now. Okay. Okay. Sarah, it's your turn. Uh, uh, there is a teammate within five feet of this knoll. You now have sneak attack. Perfect. I'll do, attack do, with, uh, do, 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 bang, bang, uh... Short sword. Again. Okay. 18 hits. Two piercing. Two. Plus your sneak attack, which I believe is a die six. Uh, I'm reading it. Uh, you don't have disadvantage. Amount of damage. Equal... Those in sneak attack column of the rogue table. But... Pretty sure it's 1d6 at level 1. Okay. Um, yep. 3. So five. you do 5 damage. Oh, he's back. Uh, am I still able to move at all? Uh, yes. Okay. But How you have I... used your action as attack action, meaning if you were to leave the radius of that knoll, which is five feet, opportunity. it would be an opportunity attack, yes. Okay, then I'll just stick there. And that'll be turn. Okay. It is Token's turn. Token's got one guy on him doing 10 damage a turn, and another guy beating up on his good friend Sarah there. The mysterious um... assassin that just showed up that he likes. Oh, no, sorry, not assassin. Token's not going assassin to do the smart thing. Somewhat smart thing, because let's hope the opportunity attack doesn't screw him over and move over here. That was not the smart thing. That is definitely not I smart said thing. somewhat. Trust me, I had to keep the action. He misses. Oh, I see what you're doing. And he's going to grab a health potion from my bag. Wes, you guys are able to do that. Um, and Does he not have any uh, health potions of his own? Nope. Rix, did you keep that health potion that I gave you earlier? I did, yeah. Okay, I was just curious. Yeah, so I, I didn't understand why we gave a healer the health potion. Because he can distribute them if he wants? But you gotta be near us. And it's not like, well, that's partially true, but remember, how long has it been since you went and got that health potion? Hmm. He healed six. Okay. Do you end your turn? Yep. He's at full health again, so that's good. Oh, wait, awesome. no, I, was I, was, I just put my wrong character. I put that as my character. Alas, it's your turn. I'm using the uh, same weapon as usual. Yep. He's a little looks better. Oop, that's a crit. Double dice. That's nine, then I'm gonna use Pearl Master double attack again. Thirteen, that's eighteen. Eighteen damage or eighteen to hit? Eight, that's eighteen to hit, so I did nine before, I think I said. Is it nine? Yeah, that was nine. Uh, thirteen, that's sixteen in total. To hit? Uh, no, 16 damage. In total. Okay. The Snull is dead. Basically, we're f five. What happened to the fifth one? 
is sneaking around in the shadows oh. to attack you. Am I able to see it? No, I can't. I I don't think I can. You can. Huh? Oh wait, yeah, no, no, no. He's he's so within powers. he's within sixty feet of me. So yeah, I can. You should be the only ones who can see it. Token can okay. obviously not see it. No hunter. The no hunter is going to take two pot shots at. Uh... Once again, at Tori this time, both shots. Well, wouldn't he be trying to go through somebody? No, he's got a direct shot. I should wait. Yeah, basically. Oh, it's wow. pretty direct to me. <laughs> oh, I thought it was the other one. I didn't see that one there. First attack misses. Second attack misses. Yeah, I thought it was this one shooting at Plus, me. Plus, I could argue. I could honestly argue that with the range these attacks are being, it would require an arc so high that it would just bypass anyways. The Null Hunter, seeing that uh, there's a bit of a clusterfuck in his view, is just going to take out uh, the uh, fighter that he currently perceives as the greatest threat, which is Alas. Uh, Alas, what's your AC? Um, what, so he's not coming closer, he's just attacking me, okay. You never uh, told me how 16. 16, misses. Second one hits. Okay, how much damage? Six damage. Nick, you never told me how much I get hit. You never got hit. Wait, what? You said... Okay, I'm Both now. shots missed. I asked oh, okay. what your AC was. <laughs> oh. And no, uh, the, uh, the other null group is, uh, going to, uh, move sideways and attack Alas. Wait, wasn't Do that one that just attacked me? Or was that one in the shadows? The one oh. in the shadows just Opportunity attacked. attack. Why? Opportunity attack. <laughs> Fine. Roll the 14, uh, that goes up to 19. How does it go up to 19? I get a plus 5 on my quarter staff. Holy crap, you're s I might, uh, ask you to remove this feed if you continue with this, because this is bullshit. <laughs> you're hitting way too many things. <laughs> fine, you hit it. I mean, you said it was fine. <laughs> I did at the time, I didn't perceive that it allowed you to hit everything three times around. <laughs> Five damage. Your rolls are too high for that feat. It not happy is going to make three attacks against you. <laughs> Hit. <laughs> Hit. Hit. Oh god. You're screwed. I might possibly be. Just remember, you can always come and grab a health potion. I might not even have a chance for that. I'm your potion dealer. 15 damage. Yeah, I'm down. Is there any chance I could use my action and just pour a health potion down his throat? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. I'll save you. I start pouring it down your throat. <laughs> Alas is unconscious. Is unconscious. Alas, he is unconscious. Alas, <laughs> he's unconscious. Marum's turn. Well, now as you can see, uh, she will move mm. 30 to there and attack this. Okay. Hold hit. 21 with a short sword. That hits. And then the offhand dagger. 13. Uh, that misses. Tungus to Bungus de Bardu. Actually, wait. Who wait. Uh, Maron had the fight. Okay. I just want to check I'd be able to see. Um, oh, it's in dim light, so I think you should be able to see him, but it's just not going to be very advantageous. 
Okay, I'm going to attack with the rapier first. Okay. That's a net 20. Is it? Yeah. I can take a photo. <laughs> Gen genuinely, that roll doesn't that 20. I can re-roll it if you want. Double dice. Yeah, no, <laughs> that is genuinely a net 20. Uh, a... I ten. think you're going to need to buy new dice. That one sounds weighted. Does it? Yeah, keep getting a lot of nat 20s. <laughs> Luck. Uh, that's 13. Okay. And 13 then... Or what? A whip. 13 damage, right, yeah. Yeah, 13 damage. And a whip. 5. Uh, that goes hit? Uh, 10 to hit, but I rolled a 5. Yeah, you're not gonna hit it. Man, he really sucks with his whip. Yeah, but I don't understand that weapon. Is that like a more long range weapon or? Uh, does it have reach? I I don't know. It's not my weapon. It's on his character. I'm gonna check that. You could say if it has reach on his character. Well, it's a it, whip. It, I'm guessing it has reach. I mean, I'm pretty sure it has a five range with reach. Yeah, it's basically you just. It, it doesn't say weapon. actually. Uh, let me look in. You might have to search up the stat block for. Weapons. Yeah, no, it doesn't it's actually. It doesn't weapons. actually say on it. Yeah, you'll have to add that. Uh, uh, let's see. Is it a victorious whip or just a regular whip? It's a regular whip. It's a regular whip. Okay. It has reach. Uh, yeah, it does have reach, but it doesn't say what, what the reach is. Reach is five feet. It means that you can attack somebody five feet away from you. Okay, I'm gonna put that in. Anyways... Tungus, do you end your turn? I just wrote feet as feet. That was stupid. Uh, the reach uh, property means that it has five extra feet on top of it. Yeah. So it have a yeah. ten rate range. One second. It means you can attack this far as opposed to just this far. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. One second. Oh, I'm passing, by the way. Rix's turn. All right. Well, alas, went down. So Rix moves over here and casts Spare the Dying. Okay. That stabilizes uh, Ser. Or yep. um, alas, okay. Alas is stabilized but still unconscious. Incapable. Uh, she won't wake up for. Back. Uh, a while. Would a health potion wake them up? No. Worth a shot. It would give her hit points, and then you could wake her up once she has hit points. But for the state being, she is balanced at one and is going to be unconscious for a while. What's going on? You're unconscious still. Oh yeah, I know. But you're not Don't dying. Worry. Don't worry, I'll pour a health potion down your throat to wake and then wake you up. Tori, uh, it's your turn. Yeah, I appreciate and that. If you do yeah, that, Tori, you might be targeted next. I feel like that's a threat. It is a threat. That's a definite. <laughs> Though to be fair, you have been targeting it, targeted for a while. I'm aware of that. You, you can tell how much Nick the, uh, loves my character. Thing. Would would he block me? Uh, no, you get him. Okay. I I have a thing for high damage characters. <sighs> okay, so let's see. Yeah, I'm definitely going to remove this? that feed and replace it with something a little less OP oh. for a low level. Okay. I mean, let's be real here. Damage wise, the uh, other campaign, my character's way worse. Including my. Um, plus well, yeah, but that's a single attack, not th like three per round. True. <laughs> Including the um, stuff I have on top of it to make it so I can hit easier, if it was called. Yeah. Um, it's 17. 17 hits. Okay. Twenty-eight 
12 damage. Okay. Uh, what was that, by the way, that you attacked with? Uh, Eldritch Blast. How did Eldritch Blast get 12 damage? 1d10, and I rolled... I got plus 3 onto it, so... You don't get plus 3 onto the damage. We had this discussion. You only get plus <laughs> to the attack roll. Okay, then what would I... Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the thing, then. So that would just be 9, then. Thank you. You kill it anyways. Cool. On to the last two. Yep. Sarah, it's your turn. Okay. Um, There's I'm a going... nearby... Yeah, okay. I... How do we... I'm gonna shoot an arrow. Uh, I'm gonna move... You're... You're... Perf where you are, you're good to shoot an arrow. Wait, who are you planning to attack? The one in the back. That one. Yeah, you can shoot him from there. Okay. Uh, roll to hit. Longbow. Ooh. You miss. Okay. Majorly. Oh, Critical that miss. Was a, that was actually a, yeah, that was a one. <laughs> yeah, you hit the yep. tree. You hit the tree on the other side of him. It's token turn. Uh, that's not a tree behind him. That's a rock. Bounces back, hits the rock. I didn't say behind him. I said on the other side of him. <laughs> Okay. Shoots, bounce off the rocks, it's a small bird in the tree next to it. You got breakfast. <laughs> okay, so Token is going to... How much? You can move 30 into that, so we can move... You cannot move there, you can move there, though. He's gonna move there, and he is going to attack with his longsword. Crap, I dropped my die. I will find that in a second. For now, I'll just do it here. Damn it, shouldn't have advantage. Or dis- Wait, yeah, I should have disadvantage. He's blind. Seven. It's not that he's in the sun. He's in the light. Right, okay, then yeah, it's it's 11. Me that way. still would have missed. missed. <laughs> yeah, you miss. Alas, you're stabilized and won't be waking up anytime soon. Null Hunter's turn. Null Hunter sees that the battle is turned, is going to run off the map and escape. Damn it. One of us really should go after the far away one first. No matter what, it's going to, even if you don't kill it, they're still going to show up. They're gnolls. Yeah, but still. They have attack they plans. Least, they will at least not have any survivors. Okay. And then no flesh gnar going oh wait the no flesh nar well i guess there wouldn't have been anybody nearby anyways never mind how does it matter? i keep forgetting that i have hellish rebuke how do you have a hellish rebuke same way i have eldritch blast okay you picked it as an actual spell okay the no flesh nar is going to take a turn to token and is going to make it three attacks. Uh, tokens AC is 19, so miss, 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 and then is going to just run away. <laughs> Opportunity mm -hmm. attacks from... Can somebody put up that... Uh... Can somebody else put up the movement, please? 30 feet, where I post place that. You have two people doing okay. it for you. Thank you. That's 35. There you go. Runs away 30 feet. Token and Merum have an attack of opportunity upon him. Uh, did Token? Yes. Okay. I so said Token and Merum. Your mic cut a bit for me. Perfect if I was awake, man. Token rolled a three. Token misses. Even though I added the plus five, it would still miss. A oh, Marin rolled a twenty-five. For ten damage. Uh, 
It uh, takes the damage and flees. Uh, Marim, your turn is up. Uh, does it seem hurt? Yeah! <laughs> like, like, Very okay. much so. Like, like how messed up does it seem? Like, is it really bloody or... Really, really bloody. It's pretty messed All up. Alright, Marin's going to... It's limping away. <laughs> Marin should just bow it. She doesn't have a bow. What is Jory doing? Yeah, Every same person no should idea. have a bow. I even have a bow. Yeah, so it'll just be a. Like well, her character have a bow? Has a bow there? You hit. It's dead. Does it have a bow? Yes, they have long bows. Okay. Does Marin proficient with long bows? Nope. Fun fact: according to rogue li uh, lists, they're not proficient with bows. Period. Yet they get them. Hmm. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I know. Would you have someone that's super drunk shooting a projectile? Would that be smart? Yes. Probably not. He's done it. <laughs> Dude. I, I, as a rogue, got really fucking drunk. And I had some of the best projectile shots you've ever seen. That was a very funny quest that I did. That was, that was, uh... That was Halcon. I went and I joined a campaign on the first day of Halcon, and they just gave me this, like, level 15 rogue, and I was running around, I was like, I get wasted, you're drunk with disadvantage, and the entire thing was, like, the one time I missed, I was like, I wish for free action to projectile vomit onto the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> and the DM granted it to me. <laughs> There's another point where I jumped down the stairway and grappled somebody while drunk, and it was like, I tripped down the stairways and knock him over with me. <laughs> was everybody else laughing with you? Oh yeah, no, it was hilarious. So let's see, calculating your score. So is that last one actually gone? Like, yep, he's it... gone. Okay, because if it was still there, I'd say Rick would take a pot shot at him. But how much between seven? Four hundred again? Can I calculate? Wait, no, because it's my bad. Sorry. You guys have 600 XP divided amongst the... F How many of you? All of you. Seven. Seven. 85 XP. And we only have 15 minutes left, so I'm not going to set up another combat. You guys continue your way through the night. Uh, I believe they're encumbranced, right? Mm hmm? No. Wait, mm. I need to review the kind of the encumbrance rules on uh, rest, because you guys had four hours of sleep prior to the attack, which both elves would have had a, a full rest by that point. Mm hmm? And there's going to be another two hours. Uh, what's with me and being down there? Oh, you're going to have to fully sleep that off. Okay, cool. So, the night goes on, but you still hear laughing and howls in the distance. Could, could I please launch an Eldritch Blast of where I think the howls are coming from? It is way out of range. This Damn. isn't, you know, it's... Within 120 feet of you, Howls. This is Howls that are within kilometers of you. Five kilometers. How are we hearing this properly? Because it is not just a couple small moles laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so who all is injured? Uh, I am somewhat injured. So is, um... I'm completely dumb. Yeah. Ho... Uh, token is at 11 out of 15. I am at 12 out of 17. Alright, I'm going to cast Good Berry. Uh, I'll give you and Token one. Marin will get one, and I'll eat two. How much uh, health react do you get from them? You get back...
you get four per berry. Okay. So you'll get four back for eating one. And you won't have to eat for the rest of the day. Wow, you just made it so uh, Token was back at full. Yeah, I'm at 16 out of 17, so I'm basically at full. And Token is back at 15 out of 15. So how many hours will it take for Elast to wake up? It says it's going to take six. All right. Uh, I mean, and get when he wakes up, he'll get all the rest of my berries. We can pour a health potion on his throat and wake him up. Uh, just wait. If we wake the six hours, and then when he wakes up, I can give him the good berries because they last for 24. Okay. Okay, you guys all go back to resting with a new turn order. Uh, somebody's going to have to replace Alas for uh, his uh, guard duty. Uh, Rick's will. Rick's can see in the dark. Awesome. Does Risk does Rix get enough uh, rest tonight? Uh, I got four hours, and then I'll have whatever left. I don't know how much is left for me. As in how many hours are left? Yeah. Why don't we put the guy who meditates? Because I have, because I've been taking the last is. Uh... Does the meditate guys down? Oh. Hmm. So yeah, if I take his watch and I just got the four hours of what, sleep, four hours of sleep already. So I don't know how much is left. It would be four hours. You need everybody needs eight hours of sleep except for the L's, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you still need four hours. However, once everybody else wakes up, uh, I'm assuming that you're going to at least be able to take a nap in the carriage. Well, no, because. Uh... Because Alas is unconscious. Yeah, you probably have to wait for me to wake up. Hmm. Which will give you some extra time to sleep. Alright. Yeah, I think you can get all your sleep. Uh, especially with the carding. So you get up the next day and you start some more movement. Would I be awake the by this time? Hyenas, uh, the sound of laughing hyenas in the background following you the entire way. Nick, would I be awake at this time, mate? You're awake now, yes. Uh, I, uh, yeah. I have you 10 minutes can... left, but I can't uh, set up another fight mm -hmm. uh, right now, so... The moment oh, Alas wakes here. up, Rix just basically starts force-feeding him good berries. <laughs> you uh, he gives him? you... We, I've already used... We've used five up, so he gives you the uh, the remaining five that he has. That'll heal you for 20. Okay, yeah, that takes me to full. Anybody leveled up yet? Uh, what's nope, the next like? What's the, what's the next level? Nine hundred. Nine hundred. What's the first level? Uh, three hundred. Okay, yeah, no one's leveled up. Uh, yeah, um, me and um, me and Token are both uh, at five hundred seventy-five. Uh, I'm so sad for you. Same with Tungus. Tungus. I are 175. 575. Maybe I could give I'm you a side quest of some sorts to get you to level 3 within uh, Tarnstead for you and uh, for Sarah and uh, Tungus. But before we get there, you're still going to probably have a couple more encounters with a null pack, uh, with null hunting packs. Yeah. Me, uh, Tori so. and Token are. Uh, um, yeah. about 325 away from leveling. Yeah, Same. You're probably not going to get level 3. You might get level 3 tomorrow, but probably not. They might all uh, get it, and then Rix doesn't. Why is Rix behind? Right, Rix didn't... What? I didn't take part with the, uh, the robbery. Yeah. Right. I was in here for, like, what, four sessions? <laughs> yeah, well, that would be what does it. You mostly won't be here for all um, the other sessions as well. Yeah, we can no, always get someone to play him. No, oh. no, I now don't work until 3 my time. Good job. Uh, 
Awesome. So you want me uh, to get? Be, it's gonna continue being tomorrow. We're gonna do it again. Uh, once I'm no done more time? my stuff, it will be uh, four my time to six my time as per normal Tuesdays. No more we'll Tuesday time. Cool. Yep. So what time? Because this was a holiday day, we made an exception. Yeah. Uh, you you want me to change for pole master feet then? Yes, please. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll have a look really for feet. I really need you to. I really need you to wear down how much attack you can do in a round because you already have fucking uh, the key points, which uh, I already do. <laughs> oh yeah. Instead. Actually, I don't think I can use the key point and master double attack in the same round. Of course not. Yeah, However, that, that's what I was thinking. Once you get rid of double cool. attacking, you can still do fucking key points. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, I'll do that afterwards. Is that just like a level might, thing, or is that just like I might, no matter I, the level? I implore you. Uh, it's uh, you'd have to look into it. But I, I implore you to uh, try to get your hands on some dragon jaws if I'm going to call them anything. Dragon jaws. My friend Chris, uh, when we. When I uh, when I did a run with him, Jared, and another group uh, through the campaign known as Fandelver, uh, Lost Minds of Fandelver, he played a monk, mm -hmm. and he uh, his group slayed the green dragon in that quest, which you're not supposed to be able to. But uh, we were not properly calculating how key points work, so you know he slays it. Oh yeah, and I think you mentioned that. They go back to town and turn the green dragon's uh, jaws and. Um, Scales into armor and clothing. Yeah, I I think you like mentioned anybody, that. Before. Anybody who can't wear armor just has cool green dragon scale clothing. I'm just gonna. Uh, and he creates a pair stuff. of gauntlets made of green dragon scale with dragon teeth on the end that do uh I think it was a die six damage plus a die four poisoning on top of that because it was a green dragon. Yummy. What the fuck is that shit? That's why sense doesn't like that. <laughs> The dragon, uh, the dragon jaws. Uh, yes. It was a, it was a custom weapon, but we counted it as a, uh, as a brass knuckle, and therefore counted it as he was proficient because he's a monk who punches everything. So you just put, he basically just put daggers on the end of his fists. I have dagger fists. <laughs> I am Wolverine. Green style. Green. I am uh, great ween. X X twenty three style. Same thing. <laughs> X twenty three style. Yeah, that's it. Sarah, how are you enjoying it? Hmm? Sarah, how are you enjoying it? Good. Sorry, playing with my uh, Rubik's Cube. Stop playing with your Rubik's Cube. I need to f fuck. Oh, uh, god damn it. <laughs> uh, no, you do not. <laughs> no, Please I do not on stream. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, I, I mixed it up. I just oh, so what are you typing this time? Fuck! <laughs> I can't help you with that fuck. Sir, how do you feel about Marum? <laughs> I put my mask on and walk away. <laughs> That's a pretty good reaction, especially knowing what she is. Indeed! <laughs> hmm. That's not right. That's not uh, right. Ah, uh, that's wrong. <laughs> that's wrong. I don't know what to put it into instead. As we know, death. We have entirely revamped the entire fucking document for you, so that it's not broken as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I read. I have no idea. Once you're level three, you can start using the uh, teleportation in the dark. <laughs> yep, yeah, teleportation in the dark when it comes nighttime. Oh boy! <laughs> Remember um, those, use, those use a point system now, though. Yeah, so I can use three at level one. Yeah. So three times. Yeah, do I know I get next level? I can start casting spells again. next level. Awesome. That will be useful. Yeah. I can already do that. Yeah, but you start with spells. I don't. I My start with the ability at second level to get a bag of holding. <laughs> wow. Mm. Nice. I recommend you look over Blood Angel at some point because I did uh, revise it. Hmm. 
Uh, did you really change much other than the um, strength other than stats. the flight? Oh, you changed the stats uh, as well. I'm probably gonna give the flight back as 30 feet of movement, but you still have to return to the ground every time. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was never. Right, I already, feet. no, I already. 20. No, it was always 30 feet. I had altered your sheet already. <laughs> oh. I put it back up to 30, though, because I put it back up to 30. Because according to the uh, fucking skill sheet that can be used in order to discern whether or not a character's balance, flight is a plus 11, which is a lot. Yet, uh, not being able to stay flying is a fucking uh, negative uh, 9 or something. Also, I added something that people pointed out. Wait, did I change the flight? Okay. I changed it back. No, I'm just realizing that, um... Ah, something isn't properly on the screen anymore. I have to re... Okay. Uh, could you repost the, uh, thing? So, you can now fly 30 feet, but you have to land on the ground. Uh, and, alternatively, you can't fly if you're wearing medium or heavy armor. Which is something I didn't have before, but once people pointed that out, I was like, yeah, no, that makes sense. I probably should have that one, if anything. I'm not wearing armor in general. Yeah, that's why oh, it doesn't matter to you, ultimately. I'm just going oh, to wait, the yes, I am. I'm wearing studded leather armor. Mm, Isn't that light? Be useful. Yep. And then you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Okay. Uh, could you repost the sheet? Yep, sure thing. Just let me save this. Yep. Update the latest version. And once that's done updating. Um, Nick. Copy and paste the link. Yep. Can I change it to Stealthy? Yep. Sure. Boom. I think you know that's for all. Mad at me for how I've been role playing, Marin. I don't think he will actually give a shit. <laughs> I think it will. Especially if well. we don't tell him how you've been role playing, Marin. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. If he's drunk enough, he wouldn't remember what happened. Oh, very sad I lost that, but oh well. Uh, so I get a plus well, one I'm to my. I'm not sad you lost that. Oh god. That was plus one to my dexterity. And I get a proficiency in stealth. Hey, that's my job. I'm stealth here. I'm uh, a yeah, widow. You're definitely stealthier than him. I, I I get I get a plus six to stealth. I get a plus eight to stealth. Um, did you Ooh. did you change the charisma modifier? Or is that the same? Uh, if you're hidden, you can move up to ten feet Never without revealing it. yourself. If Wait, you end the moving position, you're not right? you're not visible. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, do you want a recopy of it? I'll send you another link. Uh, you I have download it. I'm. I remember, yeah, I've been updating this like crazy, so if you downloaded it, it might be out of date. Would I be able to get the proper spelling for that mask? So, is the seventeenth correct, where I can still become invisible? It's a big no. sad. I'm now weaker. There's the link. In fact, I also put the link. But I now have but... stuff. Yeah, level Here thirteen. At thirteenth level, become invisible at any time. Uh, well, it costs. It costs. One, it costs right? points. I can help you. <laughs> yeah, I like uh, when it's not. <laughs> so the comments. So first off, I like heavily nerf the invisibility shit, so you can still become invisible, but the steps are working. And then I added the uh, stealth teleportation, uh, the shade points. Of course, I didn't verbally mention that you need to use them in order to do the uh, teleportation. I'm. And then doing... somebody went through and just tore down everything, saying like uh, stealth within was too overpowered. So we just annexed all the extra abilities. Uh, saying that the ability to see in uh, Magical Darkness should be ability of itself. Uh, that the uh, the Shadow Clone was stupidly designed and didn't make sense. So we just replaced that with a straight up uh, Unseen Servant spell. So okay, you, you have Unseen Servant mushroom. now. Uh, and you added that to the Dark Vision uh, <laughs> at ninth level. We made uh, okay. the invisibility thing a 13th level and allowed you to fall back uh, uh, and had it fall back to the uh, shade points. Uh, Matt, uh, the Unseen Servant doesn't fall upon the shade points, though. Where does it say all this? 
Oh, I'm not talking.